Yeah, let's go. Punk rock and Cobain is how we grew up. K rock was insane. I was such a screw up. This week, this week, um, I vacuumed. I started cleaning out this room a little bit. I, I mm -hmm. got a massive sales post to make. Like, I got to get rid of some of this stuff. Like, the tub life is real in here. Is it? I got, I got a mountain of chugs, bro. That I just, I need to, Bitch. like, like five dollars each, man. Just take them out of my house. But um, I started vacuuming around here, dude, and I found some combined award devastator pieces the chess piece oh shit yeah i came across one of the hands with the megatron gun there you go and uh i came across the stash <laughs> what up What's going on, Vin Rock? Yeah, first of all i want to make sure because i got my this is on my computer right now i got my head my earbuds in uh, am i coming through clear yes. yeah Sunday it's a little day. echoey a little bit but it's coming in clear so should I switch up to my phone or? Uh, I mean, you could try real quick. Right now, we're just bullshitting for a few minutes until uh, we start going. I mean, so. I, I wanna, I wanna use my computer. I would like to than using my little piece of shit phone. You know? There, How's everybody dude. doing? It's so nice to see your faces. Dude, real, it's bro, good to see guys. you, brother. For real, I miss yeah, that stash. I, I, just, I just went, I just went and voted. Wherever the fuck it is. That's what's yeah. up. That's what's mm -hmm. up. That's what's I up. I had to yeah. down. walk the dog and feed him. And we're good. Yeah, man, that thing's getting the... huge, dude. Yeah, like man. that mustache. Look at that. It's on the billboard charts, bro. It's like so I haven't, I haven't, it's on the billboard charts. I haven't yep. got it in, in um since, since like I haven't touched it since last September. So it's oh shit. Yeah, yeah, you can have your own video game now too with that shit. Like driving <laughs> got... around in a go kart, like. <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel any certain way about the, you know, about it. I just thought that 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 it was that whole circumstance was real funny. You know, there you go. Ooh, look actually, at that! That mood lighting, yo. This is the autumn gold right here. Yeah. The autumn gold. I'm gonna turn that's on the light called. just in case. Yeah, everybody like my new my new uh, my new hat. Ooh, that's a good looking hat, dude. I like that. Hold on, let me see it's the back. New, again. Uh, Can I see the back? Again? Giants. All right. It's a new uh, salute to service hat. Is that yeah, is that like yeah. a digital camo going on right yeah, there? It's, it's actually they all they use um the MLB and the NFL always use the Marine Corps camo too. Mm -hmm. so it's, it's a little more special. So I try to get these every year. Yeah, nice. ones, giant ones, or every other. But uh, they're gonna be rocking these, I guess, on the sideline this um this whole month because you know yeah. we got Veterans Day coming up and. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the Marine Corps birthday, 10 November 1775, when the Marine Corps was born in Sun Tavern, Pennsylvania. It's just embedded into my skull, man. Well, thank you for your service, dude. Yes, sir. <laughs> and you. Yeah, you man. man. You know, you, you was also. You, up, you. Yo, you looks like he's about to, like, I don't know, start his own, oh, like, PW, PWA, Filipinos oh, with shit. Attitudes. You know what I just, I just saw you was. I just saw your sweater and I forgot what I what I, you know. Oh, that's Halloween. all right. What what we'll we'll pop it in. Oh, look at that! The whole Halloween thing. Mm hmm. Oh shit! My namesake. That's right. I like that. <laughs> right, right. Day the fifth, but still. Ralphie looks like he's about the DJ. <laughs> <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. <laughs> dude i need to put like i need to do do that again where you were bobbing your head i'm gonna do like porn music in the background when it's doing that oh, like <laughs> or some girl just moaning like just Get a lava lamp. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah yeah i think they stopped doing music bro i think music has been like it's like a 90s thing <laughs> once, it, once it once it came once it went to the internet they said you know what mm. We ain't paying extra for music. We'll just go straight to the point, folks. Oh, right, right. Vinny got the mood lighting. There we go. Right in the back. There we go. I think that's all right. No, oh, it's because that one light up in the top left a little bit, but that's all right. Yeah, it's, You're good. It just makes it right. Dude, right. Vinny, look at, look at this, mother. Look how long this is getting. It's blending in. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Lean back a little bit. Lean back because it's hard. It, but it gets all dark. Yo, that thing is ready for the winter. <laughs> <laughs> no, look, 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 look at this. Look at this. Watch this shit. Watch this. Cousin it, I know. Yo, cousin yo, you can't even see my face, yo. Look at that. Cousin it from the Adams family. 
Right? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, shit. All right, fuck All right. it. Let's get into it. Hey, what's up, y'all? This is Jason Lowry on The Nerds Has Spoken. Remember, remember the 5th of November, which we're going to fuck up because our episode's coming in on the 4th. <laughs> How are you guys doing? <laughs> so let's let's go around a little bit. Uh, since we have a nice little treat going on, why don't we go to Master Skinny? Hey, How was man. your week, dude? Yeah, well, my week was um, pretty good. Lots and lots and lots of work, but... I don't want to talk about that the work part. But that's all the nerd shit I did was no nerd shit, just work, 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 more work. But um, everything. You sound is like good, Rihanna. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> everything is good. Um, I feel good. My back is, eh, it's okay. Mm-hmm. You know, and I'm um chilling with some friends tonight. This is pretty cool. Dude, thanks for popping on like last minute oh, too. I literally hit you up what like a half hour ago and be like, "You want to pop on?" Yeah. yeah. I, you hit me up at like seven o'clock and said, "Yeah, you want to pop on?" I said, "No, I need thirty minutes, bro. I need thirty minutes." I got you. I got you. Uh, it's all good. I'm happy to be here though. I was just saying it before, man. Thank you for um, getting me on tonight. I feel like I've been uh, hiding for the past six months and kind of been. But, you need yeah. to let that mustache breathe, yo. I know. <laughs> you know, the world the world needs to see this dude it's uh, dude it's gonna be epic when that thing gets revealed in front of everybody so, did you did you attend tfcon at all either no, no? i did not no i did not Good. i um I couldn't, like I, couldn't, I couldn't afford it really to tell you the <laughs> yeah. truth um yeah. I'm, I'm trying to i'm trying to catch up i'm trying to catch up my transmission went i had some rear rear end fucking troubles in my car so yeah no i and, feel you Dental, it's all the, good. Mm-hmm. A, a I'm, dental um, emergency cost me <laughs> some money too. So yeah, that's that's shitty too. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, but uh, I'm. I wish I could have went. I mean, it would have been nice. I was trying to um sneak down on the Saturday. That's what was my plan. Sneak down Saturday mm-hmm. morning, and then just do lunch and dinner with people on the Saturday, and probably beat feet. That's what I was. That was what I was planning to do. And then um, I probably could have, but. I didn't want to, you know what? I let me let me get back on my feet and make you know, Christmas yeah. is coming. Uh, yeah, yeah. Ooh, coming. remember we got that secret Santa. Yeah, we got that secret Santa going on. So yeah, we got that coming on. Uh, what was it? The deadline's Friday. So was that November fourth? Fifth. Ooh, yeah. I handed it on Friday. The on the Friday was it Friday the fifth? So. Spooky. Let's go over to the V for the Vendetta over here. Remember, remember. Anyway, what's going on, everybody? Uh, <clears throat> how was my week? I was describing a little bit earlier. Uh, <clears throat> I was vacuuming the room this week, and uh, I came across some of uh, the shrapnel from the last uh, child destruction <laughs> rant. And uh, I ran, I ran across, <laughs> I ran across some Combiner Wars Devastator pieces, uh, the chess oh. piece. Uh, his uh, right hand with the Megatron pistol, and his left hand. <laughs> um, it pretty much expresses how much I, how, how I feel about that figure, but uh, he's you know I got him for one reason I got him for scale and. Mm-hmm. Anyway, that's a whole other story. Um, but yeah, outside of that, um, uh, trick or treating. I took the kids out on Sunday for some trick or treating. Uh, my son was Lightning McQueen, and my daughter was the cutest little ballerina skeleton you will ever see. And about ten minutes in, uh, Lightning McQueen was dropped on the street, and. Uh, Please tell me he wasn't butt ass naked on a tricycle riding around no. or something. <laughs> he was down. He was down to a t-shirt. He was down to a t-shirt and his jeans. Um, but you know, if we would have stayed there any longer, he would definitely have gone naked. Um, he would have got naked. He would have got naked. My son oh, he didn't a, hear the story about that previously. No, probably. My, my son. My son has a thing for being a voyeur. And uh, he likes to run around the house naked. So he's got this. There was one time I was talking to Jason on the phone. And uh, out of nowhere, my son comes home and 
He's clothed and everything's all good. Two seconds later, he's riding a tricycle through the house, butt ass naked. Um, <laughs> 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 just one of, one of those things, you know. I'm just like Ben. What are you doing? And he's, you know, he's just enjoying his life, like trolling on and on, just riding a, a, a freaking tricycle through the house yeah. naked. No care um, life. Yeah, yeah. You know, I guess you know, it's just one of those things. He didn't get it from me because I'm sure nobody wants to see my ass naked. <laughs> but uh, you know, just wear the mask. We won't tell it to you. <laughs> um uh we had a really good time i took him uh to the town that i work in um we took him over to, to teaneck uh shout out to the city of teaneck they had a uh a tri- basically like a whole the whole main commerce section of town was set up for for trick-or-treating with over 10 candy stations um set up in different spots and the kids were marching up and down with their costumes on and of course you know who I got dressed up as um thus the namesake um uh we had a real nice time and of course I walked by ANS comics and uh you'll see in the hall section <laughs> I did a little trick or treating on my own uh but the kids came off you know, they did real good. Two baskets full of candy. They're probably going to be eating that for a while. And, uh, you know, everything was all good. You know, week's been pretty good so far. Nice, you know, nice. I, I, you know, uh, I'm still hopeful um, because I still have not received good news from my mom. But Fingers you know, crossed, you know, fingers yeah, crossed. Yeah, you know, I'm hoping, I'm hoping, you know, there's a discharge from the hospital uh, coming soon. And, uh we could get into trying to get her better and doing some better things for her. Mm-hmm. But otherwise, you know, that's, that's the hall, man. That's the hall. That's the uh, week. All right. Coco, how was your week? Well, I think not being able to, to celebrate stuff <laughs> really <laughs> messes things up for me, you know, but I find ways to, 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 to get around certain things, right? Like, obviously, I can't celebrate no Halloween, but don't mean like I can't dress up, you know, Gosh, what's up, that kind son? of stuff. The vendetta. Right? No. So, <laughs> for Halloween, <clears throat> which everybody else celebrates, but me, you know, me and the fam. Hey, I one more I, time, I, please know. stand up. Let me see that again, please. No, no that's like hockey jersey type with the with mm-hmm. the yeah. string. It is. That's dope. It is. I mean, it, oh. I, I got a no. bunch of hockey jerseys. Yeah. Ooh, that is cool. That's freaking and, cool. Yeah, and no. throughout the week, I was, you know, in celebrate in, in well, not celebration, but in being able to catch up with, the, you know, to 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 kind of be with, you know, to celebrate without celebrating. You know what I mean? You know what I, mean? <laughs> <laughs> I had I had two different Jason jerseys, one uh, Mike Myers, uh, Michael Myers jersey, um, Hellraiser jersey. And um, there was and um, the red rum, red rum, red rum. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice. Jersey. So I made sure that I I was wearing one of these throughout the week. You know, th- the week. So while I can't wear costumes like everybody else, I can wear at least really cool. Costumes. So how do you get away with it when you do porn? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I wish I could, <laughs> but no. Your boy has to he looks like you. he dressed up like a Filipino Easy E. Yeah, well, that's... <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that was that's about it for my for, for my week. Of course, work is work, you know. I did work. And, uh, work, 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 yeah, work. I, I, I took I took a couple of days off because you know I have to use I have to burn use or lose leave, otherwise, you know. As a matter of fact, yeah, I have to burn a lot of user lose leave. I'll probably not be working the rest of the the month. How much user lose leave that I have? Oh that man, I, I wish. So uh, how how does that work during the holidays and stuff with taking off? Like, do you have to take the days off when they do the company holidays? Yes, because you don't get paid. For, you yeah, you don't. They don't. They're, they're not going to give money. I didn't know if they try to. I, I I just didn't know if they were going to try to pull some 
BS like, oh, well, because you don't celebrate the holiday, we're not going to pay you for it, but you still have to take no, off or something. Not. So I didn't know, yeah. I didn't know about all that. So you get you certain, yeah. you have certain paid days at your job, like Veterans Day. Mm -hmm. If we work, it's double time. If we don't mm -hmm. work, we're still getting a paid for, right. uh, for exactly. an eight hour day. Right. But the thing uh, is, I don't, yeah, the, in my, what, what I do, they hardly ever have money for me to, or permission for me to, to work during holidays. Mm. Like, double time. Nope. You're taking that day off like everybody else, sir. <laughs> right. But I'll gladly work. <laughs> nah, that's cool. I, I'd rather not. I'd rather watch, uh, you know, like Born. during Veterans Day, I'd rather watch uh, <laughs> Bad the Brothers, you know? Or I, I like how Vinny just like threw that underneath there real quick. Porn. <laughs> now, the, these days, ever since I got YouTube, um, ever since I subscribed to YouTube Premium, I've had no need to. It's just I'm just so what? captivated by everything else that people do. It's bizarre. Like I can watch. I'm not paying. I'm not paying for Pornhub Premium, bro. Is that what you said? Premium? Oh, I thought YouTube, YouTube premium. premium. YouTube Premium. Okay. All right, that's the name okay. of the episode. I'm not paying for Pornhub. Like, <laughs> can you just imagine that image for the week? Oh my God, that'd be horrible. Watch, oh boy. I can watch Ants Canada all day, and that that guy talks about his ant farm the whole day, and I love it. I can watch it collected, or I could watch people debate. You know, reactions towards who's the the goat, Michael Jordan or LeBron. Oh, dude, those, those are funny to watch. Fans. Yeah, especially I LeBron like fans who are who are watching Michael Jordan get compared to him for the first time, and they're like, "Oh no, you're right, Jordan is better." <laughs> <laughs> like when people are like, uh, "LeBron's the goat," and then they actually go side by side, but. Yeah. They, they compare the stats, accomplishments, and everything, and they're like, e yikes, yeah. I hate to say it, but yeah, you you can't throw free throws, homeboy. I can't say <laughs> you on that. Hey, all, you, all they got to do is say who was the better actor in Space Jam, and that'll tell you right there. <laughs> I know that, that didn't help either. Those guys, <laughs> that didn't help his case at all either. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, my God. So is that it for your week? That's it for my week. What about you? How was your week, Jay? <laughs> uh it was it was interesting so you know worked a crazy week after tfcon coming back it was definitely a busy week and then uh picked up agent h and we hung out this weekend and my boy lewis were all hanging out and um it was halloween weekend we saw some scary movies you know we watched what was it bethany wanted to watch the uh muppets haunted mansion on Disney Plus, so we watched that. And then what else? We watched a bunch of other shit. Like if you, if you get a chance to watch a movie called Werewolves Within, it's based off a video game. It's actually not that bad. It kind of reminds me of like Shaun of the Dead style type movies, but it's like werewolves. See what I'm saying? Yeah, uh, yeah, it's based off a video game, but dude, it's got the. It's got the extremely good-looking woman that's in those, what is it, T-Mobile commercials or whatever. Oh, my oh, yeah, girlfriend. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, um. The one who was the most play squirrel girl, but they, I guess. They yeah, but she, play. yeah. Her. Oh, she she She's squirrel? in it. Yeah. She's my side piece. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. I think it was Beth. She's Bethany's too now, like, after seeing that movie. like. But, um, watch that, kind of hung out. And then Saturday, um. Wow, Saturday was interesting. So Magnus, he split his uh, one uh, claw, right? His dew claw or whatever on the inside of his paw. He, he did it a couple months ago. So they had us. What the fuck? He had a string like hanging. Anyway, um, he um, it split down the middle. So like half of it broke off. So the vet had us grow it back out to go past the quick and everything. And... What? Vinny just sent a message saying power out. I guess we'll come back to him. Oh, I think Vinny's frozen. <laughs> he's frozen in time. I thought he's paying attention and being a good... I thought he's oh, paying there attention. he is. <laughs> That's pretty funny. 
<laughs> I'm just gonna no send idea. him a message real quick. I thought he was paying attention and being a good student. I know, I was like, yeah, right? I was like, wow, he looks really intense on this conversation. <laughs> I um, I told him just to pop on. I just sent him a message saying pop on when you can. <laughs> Should I joke around and be like, use your phone now? <laughs> Watch this. That's See what he says. Bro. Yeah, so that was pretty good. Like, you look really intense. Like, you really I was like, wanted yeah. to. I was like... Okay, he says it's back. I said, just pop on when you get a chance. Um, dude, that was pretty good. Like, <laughs> I should have zoomed in him. Like, for real, he's, like, sitting like a, he's sitting there like a really good church mouse, like a really good student. Well, it's a, it's like a, you see like a little kid that's story time when you walk go into the school and they're all staring at the teacher. Like, you know, that's exactly like. So, um, yeah, so we took him to the vet and, um, so long story short, they had us grow it back out, but it had to curl a little, get past the quick. Mm -hmm. But the problem was that, um, Saturday, every time we went to step on it, it kept rubbing against the inside of the paw. And so we had to take him to the vet Saturday morning, blow a couple hundred bucks. And then they had to um basically cut where the nail was and made sure it didn't cut any incisions or anything else um uh, in his skin or anything or in his paw mm. so we ended, that was our saturday morning we woke up and did that <clears throat> and then uh Vinny just sent me a message sorry i'll just cut this out in a second <laughs> he's like it's back what the fuck <laughs> I was like, is it back out again? <laughs> um, but yeah, so and we had a little bit of we had a little bit of bake time going on this weekend and uh Shake and bake. Yeah, right. Some sh shake and bake. And it was funny as hell because uh I got a message the following morning saying like, yo, it hit me hard last night. <laughs> 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 um so anyways yeah uh but sunday we kind of lounged around kind of hung out i got a little catch-up work stuff i needed to do from last week so i worked a little bit and Darius, uh um agent h was also working on some stuff downstairs too uh. shout out to hasbro and so we um he did his thing i did mine a little bit and then we started watching Trick or Treaters. And in fact, you know, I could probably upload the video here in a second. But they had the kids do a parade. And dude, there had to have been like 80 kids in this parade going down our street and back. Wow. And um, in fact, I'll upload this real quick and I'll try to play it. Um, but there was that, like adults, like everything. I guess he's still having problems. He'll pop in whenever he can. Um, let me send this to myself. I got a good story to tell you. Well, it's not really that good, but it's a pretty funny story. Go ahead, go ahead. While I'm doing so, this, when I first moved to this country, it was around October time frame too. So I experienced my first Halloween trick or treat thing when I was six years old. Right? Mm -hmm. When you know, and 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 I was like, oh man, so this is what they do in America. This is great. We're good. People giving out candy. This is awesome, right? So <laughs> I went out there, and I, I'm like, Why does this guy have now? a van? It's weird. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I'm, I'm out there with my. We're getting. I'm getting candy. Every kind of different candy that that there ever was, right? Holy shit! The stash house. is back. Oh, I have one question. Yeah. What time? No? <laughs> we haven't gotten there yet, but close oh, enough. Man, come on. I had Yo, it. Dude, dude, it was oh. funny as hell. What time is it? Your power went out. Um oh. fuck it. That was a good one. That was a reverse one. Fuck it. First time ever a guest asked that to us. I but know. yeah, so um no Vinny you or shut just, up. Dude, it, it flickered, it flickered and then back on and it was thundering and, and no rain, but I don't know. Weird. Weird. Yeah, dude, you missed it because I was in the middle of telling the story and you were like your video froze and you were intensely looking at me for like 
five minutes. <laughs> <laughs> like after, and then you sent me a message, and I thought you were staring at me. And I look over, <laughs> and you said power's out, and I was like, damn, this dude's like intensely looking at me, like. Wow, I can't wait to see that. That's Dude, it was funny as hell. It went on for a couple minutes. Um, but anyway, so yeah, my uh, so Magnus, like I said, we had him in. We did the do call thing. They fixed that, and then um, you know we kind of hung out this weekend. And in fact, let me see if the video uploaded, so I can share this. Ma oh, uh, Mag Mag Magnus was in the vet. Yeah, so what happened was uh, <laughs> your ghost, uh, you know, was intentionally watching me while you got cut off. Um, <laughs> so his paw, the dew claw, it split uh, uh, lengthwise. So we had to grow it out to get past the quick in order for them to cut it. Okay. So they cut the old piece off and wrapped his paw. But anyways, he, uh, we ended up going there. They ended up fixing it, whatever <laughs> else. And... Dude, it was funny. So he sees me. He starts walking fine. Then he sees Bethany, and it starts lifting the paw and starts fucking, like, doing this shit, like, limping. I was like, really? Oh, she's going to baby his ass. That's yeah, why. yeah. So oh, then man. Bethany's like, Our dog. like, every time we go to the vet, because, dude, he loves McDonald's chicken nuggets as a treat sometimes. Oh, <laughs> so we take, so we take, yeah, we, yeah, we take, uh, we took Magnus through the fucking McDonald's drive through to get him like a four piece nugget. It's funny as shit. He's just a happy, yeah. happy dog. He's just a happy, happy, happy dog. Dude, he was, he was, he was loving life. He was in the back seat with Bethany, just chilling, like eating his nuggets. And then uh, we come back to the house and chill the rest of the night and kind of hang out and watch some scary movies here and there. Got some stuff done. I didn't do a uh, hangout that night. I just, I would, you know, we had H and H over and everything. We just, my boy Lewis was over. So we just, we decided just to call it a, a chill night. And in fact, you know what? Here is the video. Man, this thing's coming through shitty. See if I could download it real quick. I fixed my lighting too. I like, I like how this. So I don't know why the video. Oh, that's why. So YouTube likes to dumb down the video because I took this in 8K and it looks like it looks shitty. But here, let me share it. You'll kind of get an idea. Uh, let's see here. Let me share video file. Let me try doing it this way. You hear Magnus barking in the background and shit. You should have let him loose. Yeah. <laughs> you can hear him barking in the background. Who the fuck is all these people like coming down the street? Like, and dude, these kids were amazing. They were like ninjas. Like people were dressed up as. Oh, look at that. Oh, minions coming. Like out. minions, right like Dracula, oh, like Dracula. some dinosaurs. Like one kid was dressed up as Elmo. Look at a little firefighter right there. Oh, firefighter right there. And then you had like the parents and everything else. Some of them were all dressed up too. That's pretty cool. Um, that dude, this dude was chilling as a chicken. banana. What is that, a banana? Yeah, a banana, banana, banana in the background. I thought I was gonna say a chicken. Yeah, look, you see the ninja right there just going by? Oh, look, you see, hey, see Obi-Wan Obi there? Obi-Wan's gotta be in there. He's wearing Tim's. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> and it was cool because <laughs> It, it was so badass because we haven't had a lot of um, oh, that's funny. younger families okay. in the neighborhood until just within the last year. So it was pretty cool seeing like all these families with all their kids coming down the street. Because young people can't afford houses. Well, there's going to be a traffic jam in a minute. <laughs> you can hear me talking shit in the background. Like... You're fucked if you're trying to go home on your lunch break to go take a shit. <laughs> right, to, right. You don't want to sit at work. Well, you can see here we're at the end of a cul-de-sac, so they got down to the bottom of the cul-de-sac and they're like, "Fuck, what do we do now?" So they were trying to turn around in the cul-de-sac. But it was cute because this girl was holding. Last night and it was like just going along. See a dinosaur? Yeah, the dinosaur right there. But there was a girl walking with a sign in the back. It said like "end of line" or some shit like that. It was pretty cool. Oh, oh, I see the core. See a squirrel. 
Oh, here you go. Let me go back. All right, so they're coming back again this time, so you can see the other kids a little closer. You can see this kid dress up as the Mandalorian, pull out the gun, and shoot me. It was funny as hell. Oh, I see the shark. I see a squirrel. Look at all that. Yeah, it's blurry as shit. I don't know why Facebook dumbed it down. Yeah, it is. Some Marvel. Yeah. Yo, this kid was dressed up as Thanos. See him right there on the right? Like he had the Infinity Gauntlet and everything. Oh, yeah. That's awesome. Oh, that's awesome. What's that right there? Yo, that kid on that bike was cruising. My son would have been naked. Yeah, yeah. Karate I'm kid, Tarzan. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there were people dressed as Karate Kid, fucking everything. Like, Here, I'll turn the volume down, make it a little bit better. Look at that kid just on that truck. Oh, here he goes. Look at the stormtrooper and uh, watch this, watch this. Watch him, he's like. This is the way. Right, right. Yeah, so that was pretty cool. It was cool yeah, seeing that. that. Like, that's cool. I like, like that. I, it, all of a sudden, like, we looked down, we hear this commotion going down the street. I was like, what the fuck is that? And keep in mind, I'm baked out of my mind right now. And I look <laughs> up and I was like, oh shit. Like, <laughs> like all these kids rolling down the street. It was pretty, it was a cool experience seeing. It. It's been, because we always, like, our neighbor across the street, we decorate in the front yard. He does, he goes crazy. Yeah, back then, and, I always think that there was more kids trick or treating back then. Yeah, like, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And so, like, yeah, they did it on set. This is the first time they've ever done a parade in the last like what ten years we've lived here. This is the first time I've ever seen a parade. It's cool. So what yeah, that was. What do they call it with the trunk? Uh, trunk, trunk or trunk treat? Trunk, I think that's what they call treat. it. Yeah. They but. Were... Uh, that was pretty much it for my week. I mean, other than, you know, we took Age and H home and just started catching up on some TV shows Sunday night. So, and then we did the um, handing out candy and everything. Like there was a, a lot of really good kids. And uh, to that one kid, that little asshole that went across the street and didn't see candy. Um, There's this one little kid who walked across the street and they were... So what they did this year is that they asked us, could we put candy in these bags so the kids can take the bags so they're not grabbing their hands in the bowl of all the candy. So we had like 80, 90 bags and we set all that out and the kids were grabbing the bags and stuff. And this one kid walked across the street and didn't okay. see any candy in this bowl. So he walked over and just starts kicking the bowl in the yard and starts like cussing the guy for not having candy. Boy, I wish I had a BB gun right then and there. Oh, man. You know, it's funny you should say all that because oh, as my story continues, right, mm. I, had a, I had a full circle moment, right? So remember, I was I was wearing a Darth Vader, you know, back in the day, the cheap, you know, this plastic <laughs> mask of Darth yeah, Vader yeah, yeah, yeah. rubber band, right? And uh, the, the, what, what, anyways, <clears throat> that's what I was going out trick-or-treating you know, as a kid i was really excited I was like this is my first true american experience right just going and i was a kid you don't know any better and this, i went to this one house and instead of getting candy i got like these pamphlets instead and as have a you kid, heard I was of like, our oh. lord and savior jesus christ <laughs> 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 when i was a kid when i got the pamphlets i got oh this is interesting i got book you know <laughs> Yeah, when I finally go home and look at all the candy, I say, Look, mom, look what I gave you. They gave me books, <laughs> you know, giving out pamphlets and shit. Right? It's weird. The guy was following me on the bike on the way home, too. I couldn't figure <laughs> out what the hell was going on. Oh, Jesus. So, yeah, full circle. Now I'm the dude who has to give out <laughs> Oh, my God. That's funny. <laughs> so I'm like, Yeah, man. Sorry, kids. I no longer participate in heathen. <laughs> <laughs> Have you heard of our Lord and Savior Chulu? But anyway. So yeah, it, Cthulhu. That's, that's the irony. I, 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 I remember being like, man, that guy was an asshole growing up. Now I'm that asshole. <laughs> Do you have the suit and the bike where you roll around and like antagonize people? Like, no, it's more like, well, 
No, you really meant with all the pops. Here, kids, like, you know. How about salvation? My God. I know it's sad, but that's what it is. Sad but true. I grew up in the hood, man. I grew up in the hood. And I remember going to people's houses and getting their little the little tin foil with like five pennies wrapped up in it. Yeah. I got a whole lot of that when I was a little kid. And I used to sit there and count these damn pennies for three hours. And I'm like, where's the treat in this? Where the hell's the treat in this? <laughs> so ever since then. Ever Made since sense. Then, ever since then. Literally. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Literally. <laughs> And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why you gotta keep watching this show because of his his zingers. But anyway, <laughs> hey, it's all you guys. <laughs> um, now that I'm older and I can afford stuff, you can throw I'm, pennies at him. Listen, no. <laughs> listen, listen. These kids are getting like ten pounds of candy every. You can ask my wife. Every time a kid comes in here and rings this doorbell, I open the door. And I got like three buckets just full of like unhealthy crap. And I just look <laughs> at them and say, listen, your parents are down at the end of these steps. They are outside of my realm. You're in my realm now. Take yeah. as much as you want and they cannot yell at you. You're getting diabetes tonight, They're boy. Diabetes. Damn right. <laughs> and skinny people could get diabetes too. Damn right. <laughs> you ain't going to sleep till next Wednesday. <laughs> all of you That's awesome. before the end of the night you're all getting hey, I, we had a lot of that too people giving change it, it, we used to do our trick or treating in Bloomfield there mm-hmm. you go and, um, that's not too far from here well yeah, that's a lot of houses man before <laughs> before we get candy. start getting too much into the stories about uh, Halloween and shit because this, this would be kind of cool why don't we go around and do our hauls real quick okay. all right. and then start going into old memories of trick or treating and shit I got a couple things let me grab them yeah, yeah, yeah. Go ahead. All right, so That's let's get there, Vinny. right, right. So let's yeah, get let's get the there. vendetta going, so Thank that you. way he can get out of the mask, so he's not sweating his ass off. I'm actually pretty cool in this. I've never, mm. I've actually never worn this mask this long in my life. Um, what did I get? I got a whole bunch of stuff. Um, can I you see it? I mentioned Halloween. Um, I walked into ANS Comics. Shout out to ANS Comics in Teaneck, New Jersey. Mm-hmm. Bam, <gasps> dude, that's a good set. Yeah, man. So uh, tell our audio Gemini. listeners what you got for the that's nice. for the audio listeners. I got the eighty years celebratory Marvel Legends two pack Colossus mm-hmm. and the Juggernaut, and Bitch. the seller the seller was the face with the damage and the helmet with the damage. Mm-hmm. Once I saw that, I was like, I gotta get this set. I'm dope. the juggernaut, bitch. I also, I'm also getting the uh, Mr. Sinister. That should be there. As a matter of fact, mm-hmm. Mr. Colors pop, dude. That looks really, really good. Um, I'm gonna be picking that up probably tomorrow. Uh, what else did I get? Shout out to Toy Hacks. I had ordered some some decals for some of my G1s, and bro, let me tell you something. They came out pretty darn stellar. Uh, Target Master Hot Rod. That's what's up. All the yeah. all the all the decals from the waist up are original. From the waist down are repro. And uh, oh, that's badass. Yeah, dude. Really? He came out. He came out pretty. I'm pretty yeah, impressed man, nice. with that. Um, I love Toy Hack, bro. You don't Toy know Hack, how. Yeah. Well, actually, obviously, you know. It's very therapeutic for me to put fucking. Uh, those stickers on 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 a uh, dude. Like at, at, remember what TF con like when we had a bunch off. of that shit. Oh, you like to I peel like them peel, off? I like peeling stickers off when they come off nice and clean and neat. It's like they're <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> whatever. This I'm high, with you, man. um, my headmaster uh, highbrow. Oh, oh, that looks good. Right. With the right. The, and the yeah. old decals. The old decals were just like. They were just done. They were just so done. And they do such a nice job. Like it brings new life to it. Uh, yeah, enjoy. dude. Like, you know, this is the original figure. Like I haven't done, you know, and it just brings it right back to life. It's like I just mm-hmm. opened the package again. Um, it makes the chrome pop and like everything when you see those stickers, like all the extra shit. 
this guy, this guy here has a history. Um, I actually left him outside once uh, during a rainstorm, and uh, I was a kid. I mean, Is his name Acid Storm? No, I'm just kidding. It's um, a joke. <laughs> And uh, I had thought that I lost the uh, target master, but I didn't. Um, to make a long story short, the G1 Slug Slinger. Ooh, oh. Ooh he looks good. Yeah, he's, he he's, he's, good. He's, he's, he's back to life, dude. Like the retro labels. Oh, my God. That does look good. Look at that. The dude, between you and uh, Wolf buying all the, all the G1 and you. cleaning them up and stuff, dude, I'm getting tempted. That looks dude, cool. It is so like it just brings back you know so much, but um another thing that I copped this week was a just like Wolfie, I got a Minty Fresh V One World. Oh, that looks oh, good. Look at that. I remember That's playing cool. with that as a kid. Mhm. Mm with the side, he's got these two little extra pieces. I have no idea. What the hell they do? I know they go to them. I was going to ask Wolfie. I, don't I know think they're they... like the rocket packs that connect to the side or something like that. Yeah, I can't find where they go. I got to, you know, maybe Google them or something like that. But I picked this guy up for it. Mine is done. Mine is ravaged. Um, He's all loose and just he's terrible. So I've been trying to replace him for years. And I came across, you know, this, this, uh, this, this particular uh example here and uh, i jumped on it the price was excellent so i jumped on them and I'm, I'm very happy about that um other than that that was pretty much my haul this week uh yeah i think that's it i always liked having the idea of having both whirl and um roadbuster at the same mm -hmm. time you don't want to see my roadbuster he's busted whoa <laughs> he's busted he's missing pieces he's, that's the vendetta's busted. porn name roadbuster <laughs> he's on he's on he's on my list of uh he's on my oh wait a minute there is one one he's like more. that guy jordy give me one second <laughs> fucking jordy everybody know jordy right yeah yeah, yeah. Fucking like a fucking baby horse i also got retro labels for this guy oh and uh, I just I just actually put him together on uh, Monday night. Mm -hmm. Put all his labels on, and it's uh, Darkwing. Darkwing. Nice. Oh, cool. And Dreadwing. Oh, Look at that. I forgot he transforms sideways, like the yeah. way the transformation is. Right. And uh, the wings. Things pretty clean. I mean, they really do an incredible, incredible job with their stickers. Mm -hmm. Like they slip right on. They look like they look good. You, know, you can't, you can't beat that crap. Looks good. Yeah. So that's definitely it. Um, I'm very happy about like my 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 old G. Like some of these guys I've had since I was 10, 11 years mm -hmm. old, and yeah, yeah. You know, to to breathe some life back in them, it just it, it does something, you know. Mm -hmm. Appreciate that, but that's Dude, my haul, man. I always get excited yeah. when you two pull out some of those old figures like that, like just the time and effort that you're rebuilding those things, and you know what I mean. It's pretty cool to see the look on your faces because you get see. It's kind of like Christmas morning when you're a kid when you get that toy and you get that look in your eye. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I've been noticing that. Yeah, All right, so cool. let's see here. Let's go to Master Skinny. What'd you All get right. for the week? I got a, I got a little mini haul, but I got a few things, so um, mm -hmm. we'll, we'll start right here. All right, uh, Yule, you're gonna be proud. We're going with a little pop life. That's what's oh, up. Oh, look at that! Yeah, that storm yeah, shadow. Nice. Got a little yeah. storm shadow action. His second version of storm shadow. Mm -hmm. I like that one because that's the first one that revealed the tattoo, right? Dude, yeah, hey. yes, yes. Um, I loved this one back in the day. It's a three and three quarter. Oh my god, it was one of my favorite. Um, Dude, Vinny, I got this a few so. weeks ago. That three zero. Oh, you did. Got yeah. It. It, it was it was about the ship, and I, I and I, I can't. Well, they it. you know that they have that version coming, right? From three zero. I seen it. I seen yeah. It. All right. So then we're gonna do a little uh 
the Baroness. Oh, the Baroness, the Baroness, nice. That's the one. I was afraid to. That's the one line that I was afraid to get into because I mm-hmm. know there's a there's, there's a huge guys. amount of those characters in that. Yeah. Um, I love it. I mean, I, oh, I, I started from the beginning. Great. Started from the beginning, and then I got the new Snake Eyes. Yeah, that one's awesome too. I keep I asking gotta, by, and I'm like, damn. That's I the still, Commando version, right? Yes. Yeah. Um, I I have to get the the Walmart exclusive. That's on my hit list next. With with is the Walmart uh, exclusive. Timber. Yeah, With that Timber. was awesome. That was a good one. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Nice. And then we got one more. Yeah. Ooh, some Scarlet, Scarlet, right? Scarlet right? Nice. This one, I love it. I mean, look at it. It just screams to me. Like, it's just perfect. Nice so colors, the blue yeah, and the, the color, brown, the or the top. tan, whatever. Yeah. So, um, that was that. And, um, I got this new hat right here, and then, then just this came that that came on in on Saturday, and this came in on yes, yesterday. Ooh, that. look at that! Nice. Good thing you wrote Julia for Randall. Also. Nice. Yep, I sized up so I could put a hoodie under it for the winter, and uh, that's what's up. Bing nice. bong. Hell yeah! <laughs> Damn, I don't know how we're gonna top that. But wait, there's more. <laughs> Man, I, I can't wait to open you open that storm shadow. Did you get to open it and check it out yet, or no? Oh, it's it's definitely a cool figure. I'll send you some pics of right. it later. Like it's it's cool. It's uh, I think the arms. I was I was originally expecting it to to body to be like a Fison body, but it wasn't. It's not. No. It's that the same so skele- the endoskeleton like the storm shadow. But then it's like the arms and everything are basically just molded plastic that's painted to look like arms. So it's kind of weird. So when it bends, it looks like a fucking straw. It's kind of weird. That's the only oh. weird part about it. So okay. Um, uh, Snake Eyes didn't ship yet, right? No. Snake Eyes Snake or Eyes. Storm Shadow? Well, the Storm Shadow just shipped. There's a Snake Eyes coming out too, right? Yeah, all the Snake Eyes are out. Oh, it's out already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. BBTS. They even have a red version. That supposedly looks like Deadpool. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So was that it for your week for your haul? Yeah, that was it. Cool. Coco, what'd you get? No, I can't wait. There might did. be a couple that I that I may have shared with y'all already, but I'm not sure if I did. Yeah, it's all right. It's been it's been a little bit. Y'all Vendetta looks like he's asleep. <laughs> <laughs> Zena, the Destroyer. That's what's Zena, up. Warrior nice. Princess. Yeah. Ooh, I love I, her. Yeah, this one come with her chakra chakra. It's pretty awesome. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. I like that one. Nice. Um Cad Bane, the convention exclusive Ooh. edition for oh. oh man, he's flexing. Yeah. That was man, this one's not cheap. I wish you I wish you were here though. <laughs> And um, <clears throat> speaking yeah, of know. speaking of a couple of other things, um, I know for a fact that I think I shared with you guys Samurai Jack the the chase. So this is what the regular one looks like. The uh, just oh okay yeah 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 oh that's dope. You got you got the chase already? The, yeah, the chase. That was the first, I got the chase first before I got the okay the set, which is what the, the irony is. I'm about to show y'all the, the rest of this thing. Um. Ashley. Ooh. Oh, cool! Um, samurai. I, I picked up the whole Samurai Jack. Um, I like that I one. Happy. Yeah. Um, Man, Coco, you gotta show uh, Vinny your wall. The Samurai. I'll, I'll, get, I'll get to that. <laughs> the Samurai, also from the God Samurai. Adam, God, um, he, I, I, I'm gonna give you a number. I'm gonna give you a number just from watching the shows. I don't know. What are you up to? Like two seventy seven. Oh, uh, uh, 1056 <laughs> apparently. I think, I think wait, I, no, wait, no, wait, wait, no fucking way. No, no, really no. no. I, I, I think I'm only in the 300 range right now. Oh, you are in the 300. Yeah. I said 277. Yeah, yeah you close. I'm close. Yeah, yeah. Close. That's yeah, dope. Sam, right, the high Look at that is. one. Mm-hmm. I like that. Um, All right. The Guardian. I don't know if you guys remember that episode. That was the mm-hmm. first time I think he actually got his ass whooped. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> <laughs> he was like always cocky as shit too, from what I remember, right? Yeah, the Guardian. It's been and... so long since I've watched it. <laughs> Same here. Demongo. 
That's this cool. was also a the summer exclusive. Mm-hmm. That's really cool. Wow. Samurai, like Samurai Jack. That he was always well. a cool looking character. Um, now for something a little more familiar for y'all, Batman Beyond, the Ooh, Funko exclusive. Mm-hmm. Ooh, that's a nice yes, one. Huh? That's dope. That looks dope. That's dope. Terry, yeah, Terry McGinnis. And speaking of 80th anniversary. Uh oh. Flexing Nick over here. Fury. <laughs> nice. Yes. The David Hasselhoff. Not just kidding. <laughs> David Hasselhoff. But you know what I'm talking about. Dude, Nicholas I remember Hasselhoff. that movie watching that back in the day, too. That was cool. <laughs> this is wild. my, this for me is one of my favorite pops simply because I just love the way the gut he's holding that. You know, so you prefer the what is it? Is it black? No, it's blue and white, correct? Yes. The right. outfit, blue. blue and white. Yeah. This outfit's money. This is the this is the Nick Fury I grew up with. So. This yeah. Is um, I like that. <clears throat> and of course, something kind of fun. Although I don't celebrate the Halloweens, I still collect Halloweenish stuff. Ooh! Oh, did you oh. see that trailer oh, I sent you? Yeah, the yes. Jeepers Creepers yeah, trailer. That. Dude, Jeepers Creepers Reborn is oh, dropping the next year. Not really? gonna front. Jeepers Watching Creepers Reborn's coming. Oh yeah. This to was, me, uh, this guy's the ultimate bad guy. Honestly, I think this he's guy. Cool. Yeah, he is, is badass. Sp- <laughs> I think he's more scarier than fucking Jason, Michael, and Freddy combined. Be like, oh, you're gonna run from me? I'll just take uh, your belly button and turn it into a throne star and throw it at you, like something. Yeah, I'm fucking stealing your eyeballs, right? Fuck oh my that. God, wings. You could take my uh, liver instead. Yeah. Why do you want my eyeballs for? That's fucking <laughs> shit. Like I, also, you know. <laughs> I see what Sam. you're saying. Ooh, oh, that's okay. a good. That's a good oh. movie. Trick or treat. Yeah. Mm. Sam. I That's pretty it. dope. Yeah. I, I, again, I watched Oh, I that was a spirit it. exclusive? Yeah. That was a spirit. That was dope. I didn't even realize they're making that having pop exclusives now. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. weird because spirit is just like a costume store. Yeah. It, Dude, it, they it, did it Hocus closed. Pocus stuff the last few years that Bethany's been picking up. That is freaking Whoa. cool. That Dude, awesome. that's without the that hood. Is yeah. Freaking yeah. cool. The hot topic they did a exclusive. nice job. Yeah. This one's the hot topic exclusive for this year. I'm so a, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a one off pop collector, so I, w- I would buy mm-hmm. something like that. Like I'll buy something random. Also, oh, spirit exclusive, yeah. the six inch. All right, now you're getting a little carried away with this fucking guy. No, I was kidding. Yeah, right. That's it. Just a three. <laughs> I mean, I couldn't help it because like he looks so one. cute. I love that. In a way, I, I, I guess I got a orange head on there. Things, you know? you need to be. Yeah. Oh man, I think that. I love that. Dude, that looks cool. That looks really cool. Dude, he was creepy as shit. I love that film. I'm gonna watch it tonight, actually. Last but not least, so, this so one, this Spirit is not playing fun. around when they come with, uh, with their with their Halloween exclusives. That's good. All right. Snake Mountain, the Funko Pop. <laughs> no way! <laughs> they no. What no they way. did? No one? Way. I didn't even know that. That's pretty cool. Guy. That is freaking cool. Yo, you should send a picture of that to EE, make him jealous. Like that is freaking cool. Be like, like I got Snake Mountain before you did. I they, they have these at GameStop, so you should be you guys mm-hmm. if you guys really want it. It's, it's, it's kind of um, cool. It's a general. It's a general release. Yeah, general That's release. But I couldn't help it because. I needed a loose Skeletor so that you could kick, kick it with my loose He-Man. So I was like, yeah. I'm getting Dude, it. I don't know why. I keep getting like the, <laughs> like the laugh exactly. and shit in the background, like looking at that. Hey, that's Dude, good. he's become my favorite meme now. Like the one where he's just kind of lying mm-hmm. down, telling you something smart and then running away with some shit. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that's it for my hauls, really. Um, so, well, I guess it, it's my turn, uh, yeah, so. What you got, Jay? Oh, right. So I actually got I actually got a small haul this week. Um, I mean it's kind of impressive, oh. just a little bit. Did you get the Optimus Prime? No, no you got to let him hear no. that second one again because that's, that's, that's a um, that's a proton pack. That's the sound of a proton. Oh, he got the, the proton, proton pack. pack. He got the proton pack. So, um, I was able to pick this up, and it's kind of pretty dope. You can adjust this knob. Watch. Yeah, 
Like it changes the. Dude, check this out. Watch the tip of this. Dude, watch this, and it, I can hit this button here, and it jumps. But it's like the video game, so I can change it again. Dude, the whole thing vibrates and everything. That's pretty cool. That's pretty dope. That's pretty cool. Look at that. It's a good size too. It's not like it's like. No, it's average. actual size from the movie. That's pretty cool. And uh, this is Spangler's wand from. And watch this shit. So you have the buttons here, and then it powers down. Check this shit out. And then that you go in, you go in sequence. That is dope. And then this is actually spring loaded. And you hit this button and it shoot just like in the movie, it extends. And look at the detailing on it. That is freaking amazing. Dude, these knobs and everything, like this is aluminum, this is aluminum, this is aluminum. Um, most of this is plastic. This is metal. The little graphic on the side, is that like a schematic or something? Yeah, it is. And it's actually tampoed on there. Hmm. That's, pretty That's, cool. Cool. That's pretty cool. And this is the oh, actual yeah. size from this is the actual. It's kind of funny to say because you see my big ass hands in here with it. But this is actually the size from the movie. And it's kind of cool because if you remove this, it actually has the battery pack, right? But Hasbro, so Hasbro, what they did was I pre-ordered the proton pack from them that actually goes with this and the hose um based off of what i was reading the hose will plug into this it'll remove this battery pack and it'll run off the battery pack from the proton pack so um like you know me so i'm actually going to upgrade this a little bit uh, of course okay, so of course. this piece that like this is all plastic this piece down here uh -huh. um, because this is the actual size of the one from the movies um, I can actually buy the, the piece here and it's all like actual aluminum and then I was going to replace these two here like this and this I was going to replace that with aluminum and then um, there's a piece there's a button here here I was going to replace this, uh, the aluminum stuff and then this here, this banjo fitting is plastic. Mm, well, they okay. saw it as actual metal, so I'm actually going to do this and this is metal. Okay. So, um, but yeah, cool. it's pretty fucking epic. <laughs> that is pretty cool. That's, that's going to be nice in your um, your Ghostbuster collection. Yeah, well, ever since ever, I, used, I used to be, there's a couple things I was at, and we'll get into the Halloween here in a second. Um, I was a ghost, but I always wanted to be a ghostbuster at Halloween. Like I, like we ended up doing like one of those ghetto backpacks that had like the foam, like we didn't have money back then. So like, dude, I went to a pool and stole, stole one of those pool noodles from the local pool. Oh yeah. 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 <laughs> Yo, I made my own back. I made my own proton pack back in the day. And ever since then, I kept telling Bethany for years, I wanted a proton pack. Just, you know, I wanted to, ever since I was a kid, I wanted to dress up. Well, thanks to Hasbro, I'll be actually be able to do it. So, pretty Hell fucking excited Hasbro. about that. Right? And speaking of Hasbro, I just kind of want to share this real quick so you can see this. So, Everybody they did the HasLab, Lab? For, the oh, HasLab, right? I'll go ahead and share this real quick while we're talking about this. So, the HasLab has only been going for about three days. Right. Look where it's backed already. So the target was seven thousand. It's already at six thousand five hundred and thirty-five in three days. That's a um, gang following, dude. That is a I, massive yeah. following. So oh, wait, how many that. days are left? Uh, there's still forty days left. What? Yeah. And it's about to. 
it's already hit in three it's about to hit uh you can see here it was 43 or 44 days when this started and now it's 40 days and four and a half hours left what is that 399.99 it it's 399.99 and then like okay. 25 bucks shipping for shipping okay yeah okay so um so yeah you can see here look at this check this out like it's crazy like this piece in here the bellows is metal like there's plastic um you know this is the pack from the the latest movie um afterlife oh that's yeah because okay. i was like why does it look so like, silver and not black well it's black but it is they did a lot of weathering to it just like with this when they painted a bunch of wet weathering it's a, mm -hmm. like silver weathering that's what they did with the pack um but what's kind of interesting is um they cut they actually molded this from the one from the movie coming up which was kind of cool um it's got lights sounds leds now the only thing that's funky it doesn't have the allison pack that um screws in the back of this right uh, but Hasbro gave you the option to where you can actually screw the Allison pack to this. You can see it. Like the army uh, pack. So they, they did that. But then the first time ever that you're able to do this, um, they actually set it up to where you can actually open up the thing on the inside and look at the parts. Wow. And yeah, yeah, dude. So I was talking with Derek, uh, Agent H this weekend about this. I was like, dude, if they don't motorize this thing to where it spins, I'm going to modify that shit so it spins. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, wow. Like all... It's like a real armature. Yeah. yeah. Look at that. Like all the detail, the weathering. That's pretty, that's pretty awesome. Yeah. Look like this clip, this clip, this clip here. Look yeah, like look at that. Mm-hmm. It's very so ambitious. This, so um, this clip right here, it's just plastic, but I'm actually going to get the the actual metal and rubber piece from the actual pack, and then I'll actually screw it into this. So, but you can see here, like this piece over here, it lights up. It's got the LEDs, everything. And just because of pre-art, they give you like slime pieces to kind of hang off the back. <laughs> oh, that's pretty dope. That's crazy. Yeah. That's pretty dope. Oh, uh, oh wow. But, I'm a nice boy. Why is that one more black than the other one? I think it's just an optical illusion. Yeah. I think it's because of lighting, because they're shifting it around because of the lighting. But yeah. So yeah, it's uh, at. 6,535 of 7,000 and check this out. So they actually have what they, they call the unlocks. So once you hit 7,000, you automatically get the hose, right? The hose it comes job. with hose. Yay. Yeah. Oh. Get a hose the job. Hose right? Yep. 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 <laughs> and then 9,000 yeah, backers, hose. you get the classic bundle, which I'm not exactly sure what that means. They didn't say what that is yet. And then eleven thousand, you get the afterlife bundle. So I'm guessing it might come with a ghost trap or something. And then thirteen thousand, the Spangler special, which I'm guessing it probably comes with like this or something. I don't know, but I didn't want to take PKE that chance. Meter. It might be a PKE meter or something like that. That's what I want. That's, that's all I and care then about fifteen thousand, it'll actually have a stand where it sits on it for collecting as you so. But yeah, so it was kind of funny. I looked at Bethany. It was kind of like buying the, um, uh, what's it called? The car that I'm building. It was kind of like that. And so um, Bethany looked at me and she's like, just get it. She's like, I know you've been wanting one for years. Like if I build one, it's going to cost me like two or three grand, but I can buy the Hasbro one for not even a quarter of that right have all the shit i want with it and boom done and it's actual size the only the only difference is i would have to buy the allison pack with the straps but dude i get that off on fucking uh amazon for like 50 bucks it ain't that expensive 
No. Yeah. yeah. So or you go to an army surplus store, they might even yeah. have it. Yeah. There for... So, um, yes, yeah, so I'm like, all right, I'll just buy that and be done with it. So, yeah, dude, I was excited about this. Like, and then Darius was laughing at me because every chance I had to, when I was walking around the house, I like kept turning this thing on. <laughs> and I was like, dude, I was like, I want. I said, I, said, I joked around and said. I said, next year for Halloween, I want to dress up as a Ghostbuster, right? Like the full gear, right? And then I told Bethany, she, I want her to dress up as a sexy ghost. And she's like, why the hell you want me to dress up as a sexy ghost? I was like, so I can start going around saying, I ain't afraid of no hoes. Like, <laughs> <laughs> anyway. No so, Dude, but if, if they keep that retail, if they keep that price, that three ninety nine ninety nine, mm-hmm. and one of the unlocks is like a ghost trap, oh my god, dude! If it's detailed, anything like that proton pack, oh, that would be um, that, that would, would probably be, be like a final epic. That would, well, that would be like epic. a final. Right, that would be a finale. Like yeah. you have to hit the last. Well, I, wow. it'd be cool if it came with the goggles and the meter oh. and if, like everything I'll else. The, I'll take the meter. The and, meter would um, be dope too. So let me show this. Uh, so before we go on to the Halloween stories, because I want to hear any cool Halloween stories from you guys when we were kids. Um, but remember, I told you that uh, people had um, upgraded um the pieces like the uh the wand and everything yeah so check this out so let me share this so look at this so you can see here what's that apple glasses yeah 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 you can see the aluminum piece down here they upgraded yeah the stuff on the side here they upgraded they upgraded the aluminum kit? knob up top in this one, but I'm not worried about it. Is um, it a third-party kit or something? So, Ghostbusters, GBFans.com, they actually make replica parts to build your own whole pack system. But they fit this exactly. Like, this is them mod- putting their parts onto this actual... Official piece. Okay, yeah, yeah, the official piece. So, you can see here, like, these aluminum side discs I'm going to get... This light here, uh, it's clear on the top in this one. But you, it, can you kind of see? See how it's clear right here? Mm-hmm. So I'm going to get the milky white one that goes there, kind of like what's in the picture. Um, white. Oh, yeah, milky. Milky white. Um, this it's whole aluminum there. system down here, I'm actually going to get in this side aluminum heat sink I'm going to put on. And, uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So... Yeah, I'm excited. A poor name, Milky White. <laughs> well, if you get to be, if you're Milky White, then I get to be Island Boy. And you guys get to, you guys oh my God! Boy. Have you yeah, seen like, those Island videos? Boy. Yeah, yeah have you, I seen. You see the little people today? I'm gonna say it. You see the? I can't say it. It's not nice to say midgets. Um, <laughs> so you said it. So, but dude, no, did you? I did, seen them today. Did you see those guys today? Like, no, 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 no. Yo, I dude, dude people be I people be going it. hard against that, and they watch the videos and laugh at it too. So they're going to be in good sports about it. Hey, but every time money, I, right? yeah, oh yeah, they're money, they're, the island boys. Oh yeah, I dude, there so. was one time they fanned out like you know hundreds and hundreds of dollars the one time, like you know. But... Guys, the island boy. Island boy. Oh my god. So bad. Ralphie's like, what the fuck are y'all watching? You did something before, Yule, and I said it. I'm like, Island Boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you see did you see the one Yo, I sent you with the guy with the spark plugs Ralphie. hanging out of his head and everything? Yeah, the spark I plug wires. That. Ralphie, you know who these kids are? No. They're, He's they're, see they're these two Cuban, okay. they're not identical no, twins. They're Cuban, no. right? Dude, no, I kid. hope we don't get flagged no, for that. Wait a minute. Yeah, are they these kids with the gold in their mouth and all the stuff? Yeah, and the gold in the hair and the wig oh, that yeah, squeezed into gold. their head. People the have been going ape shit, no, making fun of them. For... Lie. I ain't gonna lie. The fucking slime. That's dope right there, though. The slime <laughs> around the kid's, like, tattoo around. You'll see it. 
That's yeah. actually kind of dope. Well, it's just kind of in dope. fear of us getting flagged from the island boy. Oh, um, <laughs> we won't play it, but we'll, I'll send a link in the chat so that yeah, way Ralphie can room. watch it. So. They got everything, man. Yo, but it, it seriously does. They get like, they got like mini dreadlocks going on. They're like the uh, special well, needs a, version of crisscross. It's a, it's a wig. It's weave. They got a. They got that shit. They're wigged mm. up. No, did you hear me? I said they're the special needs versions of crisscross from back in the day. Um, Yo, maybe it's their kids. The shit out of them. So, like, you have you have like movie stars. Like everybody's imitating them now. So these these dudes. Are, Yo, there's skate shops in L.A. making fucking t-shirts. Because <laughs> you, you gotta admit, boldness sells, no matter how ridiculous it is. And dude, people are making crazy money off TikTok. It's crazy. I mean, I ain't gonna uh, lie. Like, that's my guilty pleasure while sitting on the pot is watching like TikTok videos or playing games. <laughs> like, it's kind of funny. Like, you see Island Boy. Like, you see them do that shit, and all of a sudden you see like some chick with like big boobs just bouncing. <laughs> like, I was like, how the hell did I get on that? Like, it was just weird. They're like, it's under your, like, For You page. I'm like, I didn't click on this shit, but I'm going to watch now that you're showing it. Like, you know, but, <laughs> um, but anyway. So, Halloween growing up, anybody have any interesting stories? Oh, shoot. I got a ton of them, bro. I got a ton of them. Um, I'll, I'll start with a scary one. I was, uh, Shoot, I was maybe I grew up in a in a I grew up in a small town, mm -hmm. um, uh, maybe five and a half square miles, six square miles or so, uh, Passaic, um, here in Jersey. A little, I know. And, and uh, there was there's this part of town. Uh, it's it's now it's very open. It's very visible from uh, the extension they put onto Route 21. But back in the days. It was all kind of secluded back there. There's some factories and there's this, this, this section they call the Dundee Canal. Hmm. Anyway, uh, just outside of that, it's, uh, it's, it's somewhat residential. Um, they started to uh, move some of the residents out of there because they wanted to put this extension onto Route 21. To make a long story short, there was a lot of abandoned houses back there. So one day, me and the, you know, the kids were out and, and, and you know, doing whatever, neighborhood people. And we're out, we, we're thinking, you know, we're having a good time. We're, you know, doing what kids in the hood do. So we're walking around back there and all of a sudden we see this house and the lights are on and there's no other houses in that area with the lights on. So we decided to go and investigate. Mm -hmm. You know, maybe there was a party going on. Maybe, you know, who knows what. So as we're getting close to this house, we're noticing there's no music on. So then, we, you know, we start looking at each other like, all right, you know, maybe people are in there, you know, doing whatever, they're talking up, you know, whatever it is they're doing there. Smoke to that. So, you know, we, you know, some of us got a little bit curious and, you know, some of us actually thought of a payday. So they started going in there like, yo, let's rob these people. And it, it, it just turned into, you know, something that I, I didn't want any, any like real part of. <laughs> so as we're getting closer, we noticed there's nobody in the house. The lights were just on. So now the hairs on the back of my neck are starting to stand up. Because this entire neighborhood is now abandoned, except this house had the lights on. So then, you know, of one house have the lights on. All of us, so we start thinking to ourselves, well, maybe somebody left them on and we, you know, nobody's noticed or whatever. But if nobody's living in the house, how does that house still have electrical power? If nobody's living there, somebody's got to be paying an electric bill. So now the spooky stuff starts happening. Yo, what if Jason is in there? <laughs> I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> what, what if Michael Myers is there? What if you go? <laughs> we start doing hood stuff, and we're like, yo, run up to that house and say Candyman five times and see what happens. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, as we get close enough to the house, all the lights go out. And upstairs oh, in the second floor, in the center window, there's a dark figure standing there staring down at us. That's racist. Dude, <laughs> we turned around. 
And them little bubbles of my Jordans was working. <laughs> <laughs> they started out as Jordans, ended up as Jordash. <laughs> I must have lost 20 pounds running that night, man. Oh, boy, did I freaking... Boy, did you go back needed, to investigate? I needed some, I needed some drawers quick. Boy, that racing stripe was real. I put... <laughs> I am not afraid to admit it. Once the lights in that house went out and there was just like this this figure standing in the window, we were gone, bro. We didn't even say goodbye. We just disappeared. Nope, not today. <laughs> I went straight in my house and ran under the bed. <laughs> I didn't tell nobody that I had candy, that I, none of that. Bro, I just went straight right under the bed. Dunzo. Dunzo. Wow. You ain't getting me today. <laughs> yeah, bro. I don't know if that was like a crackhead. Not today, yeah. Satan. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if somebody thought back we then. were cops, but boy, let me tell you something. When that happens to you, woof, uh, that was the I, best I, run. I, I, I can honestly say that I've never had any supernatural moment in, in, in Halloween. However, <laughs> had for supernatural moment. fifth grade and sixth grade, I was an I, I was just as a ninja for those two years. <laughs> I was like I was not ninjas were cool. But you know how as you get older, right? And, uh, and, and you know that seventh that middle school era where you, you're trying to decide whether you want to kick it with you know young kids stuff or you know you you're you're ready to 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 move to the next age phase, right? Well, everybody in my my block, the world becomes a different place at. 13 year old and above once you hit seventh grade and above mm -hmm. because all of a sudden the things that you didn't notice when you were in sixth grade you really start to notice at you know at seventh grade yo that like, girl's in a schoolgirl uniform she is stirred like you're thinking that shit like in the kid you're like <laughs> well no well that, that too but more like as you get older you notice that and you know that that other guys become a th physical threat you know what I'm saying? Like, like, and and what happens is in my 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 streets is blood dominated. That's that was you know that's mm. that's the kind of street uh, the, the black out there. They're all older Filipino cats with you know that 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 claim blood, and so if and, and so basically if you piss off the wrong classmate and they happen to have an older brother that's a blood you know out there you're in trouble because you gotta. You know, you go, you're gonna get some from, 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 from there. So, Halloween, at that age, was interesting for me, because I didn't know whether to dress up to, to, you know, like to be scary, or dress up like the rest of the, you know, the, the neighborhood kids. And the re the rest of the neighborhood kids decided they wanted to, you know, dress gangster, because <laughs> that's, <where laughs> that's, that's that's the trajectory yeah. of every 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 kid in my block that, that, uh -oh. that they're gonna be uh -oh. you know bloods of that you know that that block mm -hmm. and so yeah no and, and and what happens is i remember some of the parents started to look at us goes man that's not that's not a halloween costume <laughs> you guys look like <laughs> then coco's like gangsta's no, da gangsta does dance we groove and starts like right. kickstepping like i'm like <laughs> no I, I i i would not pretend even even really pretend i mean a I wore a red flannel, but you know I wasn't carrying no, no, no bandanas. No way. He's like I, I wore a red flannel because once, because and I got my ass beat by the mailman because he was wearing blue. Like. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're okay to wear red wherever you're at in the, in the, in, the, in the blood territory. However, yeah. you know the, the the problem is there there's dip, multiple blood gangs in the streets that I was you know in the school in the neighborhood area that i was at mm -hmm. so and, and and what happens is depending on which blood gang it is because they didn't know have nobody else to fight they obviously they end up fighting other blood so it created a whole bunch of confusion <laughs> so mm -hmm. so so be ready wearing red wasn't safe either at some no. at some point in the middle of school for me too so yeah, dude yeah, do you no. remember speaking of bloods and crits you remember those albums they did back in the day like back in the 80s like the bloods, bloods and, and crips Banging yeah, on wax, banging on wax too, like you know. Oh boy, had an axe in the front cover. I was like, really? I yeah. Don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I'm scared of axe. <laughs> oh. 
yeah. No, I was, yeah. Halloween became interesting because, yeah, at some point in the middle of the night, we 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 came across people who were, because that because some of the people I rolled with were for real gangbangers, but, you know, you don't want to be the loser. You know, you don't want to be the the <laughs> the loser kid in the group. So you just kind of try to match energy with the rest of the, you know, <laughs> the, the guys that you're with, right? But then I, we got in a situation where we saw opposing, you know, uh, you know, rival gangs with, with, I'm not in the gang, but the guys I was with were in a rival gang. Guilty by association. That, well, yeah, guess yeah. what? Now you're in the gang too. Exactly. Guilty so, by association. I was like, oh, I had no choice. Either, you know, you throw down and, and, and or, or whatever, you know, so mm-hmm. when, 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 when things get, and it's dark and it's in the middle of Halloween, oh. right? And and all of a sudden you hear, "Fuck you, bitch! Fuck you, blood! What a blood!" <laughs> and they start speaking all sorts of. <laughs> and here I am, just kind of like, "Oh no!" What do I get myself into? And I'm like, "Blap blap!" And then immediately ran away like a little bitch. With the, you know, as soon as one of the guy, one of our guys had it, you know, ran away, mm-hmm. I, I ran the fuck away too because. Man, I ain't trying to get stabbed today. <laughs> Yo, I could, I could see him. He's, he's so afraid. He won't even dress up as the Kool Aid Man, like yeah. afraid of wearing red. <laughs> like, and I'm gone. I was, I wasn't even trying to, to really square up. Just enough to get the fuck out of there because I know my classmates. My classmates, even from back then, before they became gang members, they were mm. the same kind of kids that were showing up buck knives to school like oh look what i got <laughs> you know i'm like yeah no i ain't getting shit today. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? now look at you you got <laughs> knives all over the place i know well you know what the neighbor fucking you know <laughs> <laughs> that experience has definitely you know taught me to, to, to make sure that you know just knife. like dune There's carry you know, everywhere carry blades that's not a knife <laughs> that's not <laughs> exactly <laughs> that's a knife <laughs> All right, Vin. So, do you have any Halloween stories? Um, there there was one that like was really, really, actually cool. Nothing, nothing crazy or dangerous. Like I said before, we used to uh, go trick or treating in Bloomfield. Mm-hmm. Uh, it was a um, town, a lot of houses close together. Even when we moved out of Newark and moved up to, um, you know, our other, we we still Halloween was a big deal. My mm-hmm. mom would let us be out of school for the day, and nice. we'd make a day with it down at my um, my step grandma's um, house in Bloomfield. So mm-hmm. we go trick or treating and do all you know festivities. And uh, there was this always this one house that um, that I'll never forget. They um, they took pictures of everybody, which may be weird now, but nothing. Uh, but you didn't end up on go, like a poster at Walmart no, or no, something, no, no. did you? Like, oh, okay. <laughs> and, and, and you would get a full size candy bar. You get your picture taken, and then every year you would come back, and they would have like ten years, and you could see from the first time you went to that house. Oh, see, that's kind of cool. That's kind of cool. Was, no, and me and my sister, my, me and my sister, even my little brother remembered it because they were still doing it. And I, I'm 43, and my little brother's 29, so. We got a big age group, and even mm-hmm. even my little brother remembers the, those people that were, um, which was really cool because they would have at least ten years of of photos, and you could see with like all the different years of. Dude, that's yeah, kind so, of precious that they did that. As long as they don't have yeah. a shrine in the back of the house, yeah, then you're good. I don't like, know what they did with them on their on their free time, but hey. It is what it is, you know. Hey, Vinny's I, on the black your, market as a, can, a kid for free. 10 years. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? It's just trafficking. Trafficking. <laughs> We're trying to sell yeah. this kid. He's a grown man, yeah. sir. You're a grown man. Mm. Like, shave the yeah. mustache or look like a kid again. <laughs> yeah, but, but, uh, but pretty cool, though. Like, um, we always remember that. Even my sister was like, yo, you remember that, people? I wonder mm-hmm. if they're still there. We just said it this past Halloween to each other. We were talking on the phone. We are like, yo. You remember that? I wonder if they're still there. Like, I don't know. I don't, I, I, they're probably like my mom's age, you know, right now. My mom's 68, not 69, mm-hmm. something like that. So they're probably, I, I would think, like, you know, that's what my memory wants to tell me. Cause yeah. they didn't seem, they didn't seem old, but I don't know. Maybe they were freaks. Who knows? 
Whatever. <laughs> like I said, fly your freak. <laughs> fly the freak flag. Jesus. I like All right. I don't know. So, no crazy right. moments over there. It was good time. So I got I got a couple good ones for you. So one that scared the shit out of us when we were younger, and this actually truly happened, no joke. I'll get my mom on here to prove it to you guys. That's how I like. <laughs> so um, when we were kids, we would do summer camp, right? And Or like evening camp or something like that while my mom worked because she was a single mom with, you know, five kids, you know, like trying to, you know, keep oh, four or five. Kids. Yeah, right, right. So we would do like summer camps and stuff like that. And it was towards like this time of year. And um, we went over to this house. Like it was, it was in Arlington, right? So it was right down the road here, not too far from the cemeteries and shit. Oh, and it was this, um, yep, yep. And it was, um, it was basically this big giant park where they held and they had, you know, where you go in, they had like services and stuff for kids, you know, while parents work, you know, like babysitting services, stuff like that. So us and some of the friends decided to, um, they, we knew of this old house that was back there and to this day, it's still there. And so we would turn around and go back to that house and everybody kept telling us, don't go back there because, you know, Place is haunted. We were all joking around about it, whatever else. So a bunch of us, little hoodlums, little assholes we were, decided to get curious, and they said, don't jump over the fence or nothing like that. You know, that. don't mess with it. Yeah, we did. So we got over the fence, and then we get over, and we would knock on the door like Ralphie and him would and come back. Well, after a while, so many times, like each one of us take turns doing it. And then the one time I knocked on the door, I saw eyes, like dog height, right? So I got scared shitless, and I fucking take off running. And then a friend of ours went up to the door and knocked. And we we play, basically played like Ding Dong Ditch back in the day where you run up, knock, and fucking take off. <laughs> and then we would do that shit like little assholes. So um, our friend ran up, right? Knocked on the door. The door opened. We saw this old man, like, really pale, you know. Um, and then next thing you know, uh, the dog start chasing the girl out of the yard. So we all take off running like a bunch of assholes. We're looking back. This girl jumps over the fence. We all leave everything else. And we go back another time. We go do it again. This time, you know, someone knocked on the door, and they got pulled into the house. And so we all freaked out and went to go tell the you know, counselor people. So we're all kind of hanging out and they go over there to try to find a the person. They find a the girl sitting at the gate, scared shitless, freaking out, whatever else. And so we didn't tell my mom anything about this because we would get in trouble. So what happened was I, we finally, they told our parents what had happened. I explained to my mom what this guy looked like, what had happened, everything else. My mom's face got pure white and her eyes got huge. And I was like, what's wrong? And she turned around, dude, this is freaky as shit. She turned around and she goes, what did the guy look like again? And I told her. Come to find out that same thing happened to my mom and them when they were kids. The guy's been, at back then, the guy was dead for 15 years. Whoa. Wow. Yeah. So um, come to find out, all of us had a paranormal experience and like, dude, it. My mom, she got freaked to the day because I described what the guy looked like, everything, and she remembers her and her friends doing that and getting caught by this guy. Come to find out, um, when my mom and them were kids, this guy kidnapped twins and ended up murdering them in his house. What? Yeah, what? yeah. So that place has been abandoned for years ever since, and no one's allowed back into that place. No one's lived there for years. And this is when we were kids. And, yo, Whoa. that was the freakiest fucking story ever. Like, no bullshit. I'll get my mom on here to attest for that, contest that for that, dude. Like, it's gone it, now, huh? Yeah, it's I think I haven't been now. there. I haven't been back yeah. since that shit happened. Like, <laughs> I'm sure it is by now. I'm sure that like, happened. Ralphie's getting, like, the shivers and shit now. Like, he's like, you for can't real, see my dude, face. That's, like, weird. That's, giving me, that's, that's, that's giving me memories of the old hood. Yeah. <laughs> Tales like from it, the hood. 
<laughs> yeah, dude, seriously, it was creepy as shit. Like, it scared my mom. I remember, like, it's scaring all of us when I told her the story. And she's like, that's the same exact guy. And she pulled out the article. She didn't show me the year of the article. And I was like, yeah, that's the guy right there. Oh, and then wow. she opened up the article, and that was when, that was an article from them when they were kids. It was freaky as fuck. Like, oh, I wow. did, like... After I after that happened, I believed in paranormal shit. <laughs> oh, I believe it. You know, I believe I, it all. Oh, I got I got a par- a pretty good paranormal story. But all right, hang on, hang on. I got you. I got you. Not not quite to your level. And didn't this isn't take place in Halloween? Okay. So I used to smoke <clears throat> blunts in the funeral parlor. <laughs> I'm sure you where saw used, all kinds where, of where they used to where they used to embalm where they where they, dude there was. In the basement, it was a it was a the Inlo American so, Club. Real so, quick, were you Inlo doing American a stiff spliff? Yo, on break, I used to go downstairs and smoke, and there there was urns that were left behind on the fucking. That's where, hopefully you didn't smoke anything out of an urn by accident. Like. No, 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 no. It was the old Baraducci's funeral home. It was in Providence, Rhode Island. Holy and, shit. Um, it was pretty. It was pretty freaking wild. Was, I mean, there's their place. I've heard of bring out your dead, but not smoke them out. Like, I mean, no, that place was cool. That place was cool. It never scared the shit out of me. It never scared the shit out of me. All right, so, Coco. Go ahead, Coco. Sorry, so, pop star. No, no, no worries, man. But so my 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 friend, one of my best friends from college that I met in college, he um, he's kind of he's kind of a weird guy, you know, and I. <laughs> I don't know how to explain this, but sometimes I just, when I first met him, I was like, I didn't think I was going to be good friends with this guy because he, he seemed kind of, you know, odd, mm-hmm. right? But we ended up being, you know, good friends because we he, we just happened to be both from San Diego. Mm-hmm. And we both happened to be like the coconuts of our crew in, in you know, back in the day. He was the, the, the coconut in in uh, high school and I was a coconut. You know the the headbanger. While everybody else listened to rap and shit, I was the headbanger. Oh. In my crew. So they they made fun of us because they thought we were acting like white guys. <laughs> All right, what was what was your go to back then uh, for headbanging music? Who was your go to? Um, Megadeth at the time. <laughs> so mm-hmm. I know. Anyways, like, go continue. Sorry, I was just like, curious. <laughs> right. <laughs> the, um, Symphony of Destruction. Anyways. Um, dun, dun, dun. Yeah. So. What happened then was we, we ended up becoming friends and he, you know, he became friends with a female, one of our fraternity brothers, uh, mm-hmm. girlfriends. And one oh. time they went to, uh, this, this, this story spans like a couple of decades, but it's fucking it's crazy. Right. But this is the first time there was hints of something wrong with this dude. All right. <laughs> Other than him just being odd. So uh-huh. my, my, both my female friend and him both went to a palm reef, Right. But they took turns. First, it was going to be, you know, her do, going to, to to the lady to get her, her palm red first. And then after she got her palm red, she goes, all right, you know, you're, you're next to my to my buddy. I wasn't there, but they, they, they told me the story of what happened afterwards. Mm-hmm. The lady said as soon as he got he got to the door, like to the entrance of the of, of her of her shop, she said, stop right there. And he stopped, you know, on his tracks. He goes, I cannot help you. You have a really dark presence on your, you know, standing on your shoulder. You're going to have to fix that. I can't fix it for you. You got to go. Oh, uh, shit. Uh, mm. This was at the age. Yeah, this was at the age of 18, right? This is So <laughs> they're, they're telling me this story and I'm like, and of the course, power of Christ compels you. Like, eh, well, <laughs> right? I was like, maybe in my mind, I was like, Maybe that bitch is just tired and she didn't want to deal with this shit, right? Yeah, right, <laughs> right. Came up with that kind of excuse. <laughs> years, okay, so year, years later, uh, 2008, like, it, and we're still kind of been on and off friends because he just, yeah, he just won a, he's a handful. Anyways. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Whoa. So we met this one dude in, in the middle of Starbucks because back then we just, me and, me, me and him would kick it with other people and just play just re- guitar. Re- and the people at Starbucks? Chilling, right? Dude, I'm yeah. picturing Coco one, dressed up as a blood at Starbucks. Like, yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think Crip would be like blues more of his color. So, yeah, yeah. 
That would have been me. Be back fucking crip walking in. No, 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 no. no. So, and, and what Didn't happened crip, was. Did he crip walk? No. All right. <laughs> <laughs> go ahead. Go ahead. But um, so my, so remember this is decades later, later, right? And what happened was, um, one of my uh, one of other so me and my best buddy. We're watching another bunch of guys talking about yeah one of uh you here's our friend right here, can you you know did you did you go to our house and check to see if there are spirits in it and everything? It was yeah they look like they're if you had spirits but it looks like they're not going to be anything you know crazy or special or whatever so mm. I'm just like so so they're like okay well can you check and so he did this thing on um the other group of friends and what he did was he put his hand on top of you know them and said yep nope the residue is gone you're good to go right there you, you from wherever you were lived there's no residual spec you know specter shit going on with you right holy shit and for, and for giggles right for shits and giggles i go why don't you you know why don't you try me see what's going on right then out of nowhere you, you know when he when he did it he goes oh shit took took his cup of starbucks like water doused his head with it real quickly said yo you asshole he goes but did, did anybody you know just die recently i go yeah and, and, and actually i did like a month before one of my soldiers had you know that i was very close to had had uh, gotten murdered in mexico mm -hmm. and then then i was like yeah and he goes sorry to hear yeah. that he goes all i feel all I felt when I went to the thing is extreme pain from some, you know, spec, you know, spectral <laughs> energy. So, but he he doesn't know that, that I never told him any of that kind of mm -hmm. stuff. But yeah, he was like spitting. <laughs> he like, he's like, oh, that left us a really bad, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, taste in my mouth. And at first, I, I I didn't really believe none of that shit. But I was like, oh man, that's that's bizarre. Well, now here's where it gets crazy, right? So that same dude, and remember, we kicking it, we're kicking it at Starbucks, right? Mm -hmm. And I and, and 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 he told me, he goes, yeah, you know, your buddy there, um, your best bud over there, um, there's a dark shadow that sh that seems to follow him everywhere he goes, dude. Oh. Randomly, just tells me this shit. That's fucking then, crazy. And, exactly, oh, which fucking... took me back to remember, you know, and then Mexico. all of a sudden, it it, it 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 reminded me of when. You know that exact moment at the age of like 19 when they when that one when they told me that story about why he he couldn't be helped by you know the the palm reader lady right now it gets mm -hmm. even crazier so <clears throat> sometime later on that say you know the ne in the, ne the next year my, my best bud got with this girl who can kind of who, who starts to, from a, she's a vietnamese lady who who sees kind of spiritual things herself too oh, right lady. Right, and they, and what happened is, and I'm not gonna lie, my friend, I don't want to speak ill of him, Bang but dude, pussy. that guy was out of that. That guy was like, <laughs> there was something clearly wrong with him. Like, I mean, like he would talk about his mom like he he wasn't like he was ne he never got given birth by her. Like, like she would he would yell at his mom like like he was mad at her like they weren't even related. Like, you, you know, saying? some crazy shit. Like, just like. What the fuck are you doing, mom? You know, kind of shit. Like, damn, she's doing you a favor. She's cleaning your house, and you're getting all you super bent out of shape. Mom, you're a dirty like, bitch. You made mashed yeah, fucking some, potatoes. Some <laughs> <shit>. <laughs> <laughs> like, like you made them like, chunky, was, not smooth, like KFC. <laughs> like, right? He would just say some really mean, That's like, um, like, wow, what are you doing? Kind of shit, right? Um, at any rate, my my. my so he gets a really bad temper too. So like when he gets mad, he you know he's he's. he's... And what happened was, the you know, this is from another person who's never met any of our other friends or anything, and she had something to say about yeah, you know what, the spirits told me that, told me that we gotta break up because one of us is gonna get was gonna die, if if I if our relationship continues. Like he goes, the spirits literally. You're like, are you me. threatening me? Like, <laughs> <laughs> like you what know, type of shit is that? Like, now, now keep in mind, this is the third time that I've heard some, you know, um, spiritual about my my best bud. And again, I told you there there's something off with this guy. 
but the fourth one was an absolute doozy. This was the one that 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 got me even more like something wrong with my guy. So the next time he we we stopped being friends, I didn't mind not being friends with this dude anymore. Mm. This is a you know what I'm saying? So so what happened was he introduced me to his coworker, and his coworker has this fantastic story where his grandparents, because the dude's from I think the I don't know if he's Haitian or Creole. Oh, just or, stop or that something. right there because it's some freaky right. shit over there. Like <laughs> well, what happened was yes, they, they said that his he told he told he told um my 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 buddy and he and he he told us the story over dinner one day in the diner. Um mm-hmm. that yeah he goes my my grandparents um chat you know casted a spell on me when i was a you know when i was born to protect me from any kind of evil or malevolent spirits at you know at all right and yeah it was it was it was, it was and so he, he seemed like a regular ass guy nothing you know just like anybody else like you would of, of, like imagine your coworkers who's an it just kind of regular office dude right mm-hmm. doing, doing his thing and this is what happened no joke he told me he, my best bud told me um that his that their coworker that went that that got to cast the spell on he said um uh yo um i just want to tell you and this is just out of the blue this is they're they're doing work you know on the weekend that whatever evil spirit is kicking it with you is burning up so hot that i can feel the heat on my side of the cubicle just letting you know <laughs> it's like nonchalantly out of nowhere said yeah that yeah yeah you got bro i'm just letting you know that evil spirit but you, and he had remember he never talked about that the none of the other stuff to him about anything. Jesus, dude. Yeah, fucking... and straight up told him, yeah, uh, I you know I could feel the heat through the shield that my parents cast, you know, grandparents cast it on. I can whatever. whatever Beans don't on, burn on, on the grill. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so four different walks of life, right? All right. One one I one white lady, I imagine one one uh. Filipino dude, a Vietnamese chick, and some dude from Haiti, you know, all telling me, without telling me, you know, that. <laughs> you had something following you? Not me, but. Uh, you know, yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah I'm, I'm your good. boy. Your boy. Yeah. I, I didn't bother to dare ask anything about me again since that. Thing. That shit freaked me out so much that I don't want to even know. I want to stay. All here. right. I, I got another one for you that'll make you laugh your ass off. All right. So when, so me, so I, I was previously married, right? My ex-wife Tiff, um, she went to an all girls school, Randolph making woman's college down in Lynchburg. Mm. And we, me, you guys met my brother, Joe, you know what I mean? He's overseas, you know, you know, proud of him doing what he needs to overseas right now in the, yeah. in the army. And we used to go down there, visit her all the time with her girlfriends. Like, it was funny, like you'd walk into the hallway and they could smell you see doors open, heads sticking out, like they knew you were coming. Uh. And so we stayed there one weekend, right? There was one weekend and all all that area down there is all haunted, like crazy shit, like Gettysburg style type shit, you know? Mm. So uh, we ended up sleeping in the room. Uh, it, the bed was too small for us. So her friend had a bigger bed and she was by herself. So they said we could use her room. But she warned us that she thinks the room is haunted. Hmm. So my ex and I, we go to get in bed. We're laying down, you know, just chilling. And next thing you know, the fucking blanket gets yanked. I was like, all right, what motherfucker's messing around with us right now? And I get out of bed and I look around. There's nobody around. Look underneath the bed. There's nobody there. Then I pull the blanket up and go to lay back down again. Next thing you know, my fucking wallet gets tossed at my feet. I shit you not, dude. Wow. My wallet gets tossed at my feet. I get my wallet, put it back in my pants, or my uh, my pants that were on the floor, and then I get back in the bed. And then we start to fall asleep, and I kept feeling like someone was watching me all fucking night. It was wild. Like, they've had, like, suicides and stuff like that, like, uh, like some weird Harry Potter like type shit that you would see like the weeping woods and shit like that. They had that shit down there. It was wild. But that weekend when I had my wallet thrown at me and I was like, Nope, 
No. I was like, I'm going to bed. (laughs) (laughs) I was like, but I've always been, it's weird. Like I've always had weird experiences like that since I was a kid where, um, like take for instance, my cousin, God rest his soul, Chuck, he passed away in sixth grade. He and I were really close. He was involved in a car accident and was on life support and he passed away. And, um, I didn't know he passed away. Nobody told me. And then I told my mom, I was like, he passed away. And they said, well, what time, like, what are you saying? And I saw him, like, I kept seeing him in the middle of the night. Like I was talking to him. Come to find out my mom, well, what time was it? I told her the time and it was the exact time that he passed away is that I started seeing, talking to him. That's how freaky it was. Um, that was like, that was your that was you and him were little kids and and we dad, we were in uh, sixth grade, dude. He huh. would, uh, he was in his he was driving with his dad, and yeah. they were involved in a vehicle accident, uh, and he wasn't killed right away. He was in the hospital. Yeah. And I saw him in the hospital, and dude, he and I were like peas in the pod, dude. Like he couldn't separate us, dude. We even had like the fucking like. You know, like the hair back in the day where you had like the mini mullet going down. You had the shade yeah, right man. here and football and shit like that. And <laughs> you, remember, you, know, you know what I'm talking I about. Lines, I had some lines cut and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A little mini mullet and you know, I looked like straight up white trash. And <laughs> yeah, dude, like, and it, it's crazy, like, you know, and he's, he's buried, uh, I believe it's in Arlington now. Not Arlington yeah. National Cemetery, but, and, uh, and, ever, yeah. But, um, like, it was just wild, like, you know, hearing this. And then we had weird stories like that growing up of me seeing shit. And then ever since then, like, like, I thought it was bullshit. And then, like, my mom started putting pieces together. And, yeah, it was just crazy. So that's something you guys didn't know about me. (laughs) (laughs) Bro, I got to admit, dude, like, when I had to come to terms with, you know, my friend being fucking haunted or whatever the fuck's going on with that dude. Mm-hmm. You know, I had to explain that to the new people that were gonna that we that entered our group. I just like I just want you to know that um, yep, you might experience some crazy fucked upness. Everything sounds mm-hmm. good now because that's how it always starts. The honey food period is great. Yeah. Somewhere down the line, my best butt, he's gonna find a way to fuck this up, and he mm-hmm. you, you know you and we're, it's and it, when all is said and done, it's just gonna be me and him again, and you guys, you know, as much as I don't want to burn you guys. I'm here for my friend that's got an evil spirit that's fucking, you know, haunting well, his ass, right? I keep, but I keep. I, ahead, I figured after that fourth time, I was like, and, and he burned, and he burned bridges with me. Mm. I, I took that as a sign, like you know what? Oh, Maybe man. God just said is, is is telling me, you know, all this time to not hang around somebody with evil spirits, fucking, you know, <laughs> uh, 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 around, <laughs> you know. But that's how my mind operates. I'm like, well, you know. Sometimes a motherfucker gotta hang out, uh, hang around the fucking motherfucker. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Just accept it, you know. Jesus. I like my right? job. I liked it, my job in the haunted place. It was cool. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, wait, well, so right? the history about that that place. It was an old. Um, it was built in like eighteen hundred. So there was there was tunnels underneath that in Prohibition, going from there all the way down Broadway into downtown providence it was kind of dope like you know it was kind of cool how they did it like during prohibition times and it, it originally was a funeral home and then oh, shit. went from funeral home to um italian men's club back to funeral home back to italian <laughs> men's club that's a that's an interesting combination and, and built in like the 1800s so it was a victorian mansion i have a i have a cookbook up there somewhere that we, um that was made and like with picture of it and um it was a cool it was a cool spot it was um right after I graduated college up there Johnson and Wales and um I got a job there and um I fucking that's what kept me in Rhode Island mm-hmm. that's kind of dope I stayed I stayed there from 2001 um uh, Marine Corps college you know and then I left Providence in 07 yeah, so seven. It was football mm-hmm. season was about to start. It was before the Giants' big, big run. Um, right before it, Man, I remember it was. Uh, and that's when I that's when I came back home. But that place was awesome. Like they had one of the first 
um, what is it like water power, steam power elevators in there? Oh, whoa! Yeah, from the basement. So it was pretty. It was pretty cool in in, in its day um, when it was running. But for the most part, the basement where they did all the all the work because there was um they they um they cremated in there too, like in the basement. So that, all that slab was there from where they cremated the bodies. It was kind of dope. It was kind of dope. So that's where we found those urns, and um, you know smoke down there a bunch of times it was cool it was cool so when you went up and down the elevator was it playing no, tubular no, 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 bells no, no. elevator does not work anymore the elevator oh, okay. it, was, it was it was out of commission um but you could see in all the like well they were closets now i'm like wow that's where they used to take the elevator the family used to live there they used to work the funeral home you know they lived on the third floor or i mean it, the, the building was uh, phenomenal like the all the woodwork downstairs is all this like african freaking redwood and it just but like it's stained glass alone was just freaking i bet you it looked amazing <laughs> yeah i love the place i love the place and then just hanging out in there and having the mm. keys to the place and like bringing like girlfriends up there watching uh, it was pretty dope like they would say oh you if you want to go in there bring a girl upstairs watch tv play pool whatever it was just a cool and spooky as hell the lights used to come on and off on them all the time dude like t- leaving, ple- lights would come on go back in shut them off like all that type of please tell me that shit. you did a pickup line like i want to show you a stiff and oh, it like to all no, the chicks like I you know <laughs> uh, then, ladies and gentlemen, that is why you listen to this show. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it was it was a it was a good freaking time, man. It was mm-hmm. a good time. It never really scared the shit out of me. Three of us seen seen the same silhouette of this lady. I think it was original owner, Mrs. Baraducci. That was the mm-hmm. name. And um, <laughs> this was like the original owner of this of this house. And I remember like the silhouette of a woman long long hair we always seen her in the same spot on the first landing of the steps landing mirror monster friggin mirror oh, it was just a, just the work of the the wood and um me crystal and this guy keith noel um he was a fucking twin he was the, he was the chef we're the only three everybody felt fucked up shit from the from the place not fucked up but you know, good vibes. We're the mm-hmm. only three that that seen this um, this woman, and she's just there, combing her fucking hair on the step, man. Just combing her hair, fucking beautiful, beautiful. Mm-hmm. And we've never seen her together. We were always the only last one in the building. Like I used to go in that fucking building by myself. Crystal was like, no more, no more. I will not go in there. I don't blame you, but and I used to enjoy it, like just going there. Mm-hmm only me it's only me don't hurt me oh no Crazy what can nerd. i do step brother no i'm just kidding <laughs> <laughs> but uh what a, what a what a time man like it was cool i want to go back there i gotta get up get up to rhode island and um go check out that building i'm like yo dude we, go we should I we should all mine. get together <laughs> yeah right we should all get together and do a fucking ghost tour across the country or some fucked up shit like that like see haunted areas new just england, to... new england was cool for that stuff like i've been you know the freaking mass and salem and that was a good uh you know it's, it's a lot of history there i want to go like, stay oh, at the shining <laughs> hotel what colorado oh, there's definitely oh. something i would want to do i would yeah. do that shit like the shining hotel hell yeah Red Rock, um, nope. I've been I can see Vinny tour. fucking with people standing in front of a mirror acting like he's twins. Like, that'd be awesome. Red I've Rock. I've been on a ghost, ghost tour to Eastern State Penitentiary. That's cool. Philadelphia. That's a cool one. I did that. That's good. I have a question, gentlemen. Yes. How many of you guys are Amazon Prime members? Is it me or did they like overcharge a motherfucker these days, man? Yo, didn't that shit go up? That went up, right? There. It, just, it right. just went up recently, yeah. Yeah, yeah man. Right? I, I, 120 bucks. I was like, what? That's what it is for the year, right? I now? think it. I think it's been like that for at least a year or two. It's been that yeah, price. Yeah, I think it has. 
Now, if you if you get a lot of shit from there, like Bethany and I do, we get like uh like shampoo and fucking everything else, like Magnus's treats, fucking sh all subscribe and save fucking shit. Okay. We just do it all through Amazon, you know. That's what we do. It's kind of worth it to us to do it. I do everything like from from my kids' snacks to their freaking diapers comes through that. I don't Just, like buying Zeus's dog food anymore through it. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's not. Um, uh, lately, I've been getting my bags of dog food because I use Purina Pro, Pro Plan. It's mm -hmm. been coming like mangled, like beat up, like powder. Uh, like the what bottom, the fuck? Like, like beat half of the bag. Oh, it's like dust, like, like basically yeah, from getting, getting its getting, ass whooped. Getting, getting whooped, getting whooped. So I slowed it down. It was becoming like four out of ten, five out of ten. Mm. Like being fucked up, and then I said, "All right, so I, I'm I'm just I'm just picking that one up myself now, but it's all right. I got huh. one of those um tractor supplies. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Spot to get it. It's a good spot to get it. Yeah, that one's a little far for us to go, so we just go to like PetSmart oh, or some shit because that's right close down, for but, us. Um, it's it's pretty close. So it's Vendetta, close. did you have any other stories? I told I, I I told you I had a few. Um, I'm gonna be honest with you. Some of them involve some kind of debauchery that I'm not too proud to talk about. <laughs> um, <laughs> some of them involve some 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 debauchery that I'm not that proud of talking about. All right, as um, long as one of them is in a ghost house, like you know, like a haunted mansion with like a glory hole, then we're good. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead, fuck it, let it fly. Oh man, let me see here. I got there's a whole freaking bunch of. Them. Please don't tell me one of your kids were conceived uh, in one of those haunted houses. <laughs> <laughs> nah, nothing like that. There was um, I, it's you know I. I don't know how many of the listeners are are familiar with this area or know this area. I know uh, I know Vinny is. Um, there's a road right a couple towns away. There's uh, there's Patterson, and mm -hmm. there's a part of Patterson uh, that has a, a road that's kind of infamous around here, because uh, many years ago, there was a blot of red paint drawn across the street, and because. Uh, Patterson is so good at maintaining their roads. It was there for years. And when I'm talking about years, I mean like generations. And this road uh, that it was on became famous because they called it Annie's Road. And the reason mm. they called it Annie's Road is because this blot, they say, is blood from a little girl named Annie who was struck by a vehicle and on certain rainy nights, if you say her name, she appears. Well, one Halloween night, yours truly, and a few of the idiots that he hangs out with, some of them to this day, we decided to put this theory to the test. Now, we had a little bit of her, and then we had a little bit of yeah. her. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. So, you know... The, the road is very windy in and of itself, but it was a more windy because of the effect of, you know, of our, uh, you know, extracurricular activity. Yeah. So as we're driving around this road, droplets start hitting the windshield of the car. And at the time, I was into import racing, and uh, my car had an exhaust that you could hear me four towns away. Uh, so I'm like, you you know, you start hearing the intensity of the raindrops. Of course, your your senses are are heightened because of the you know you're, you're high and drunk as hell. Yeah, so you're hearing the whoa, and then you're hearing the tap on the windshield, and there's just a lot of stimuli, right? Mm -hmm. So we're driving. I got my music on loud. Everybody's chilling. We've we, it looks like the inside. Tell me what I want. What you really really want. <laughs> 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 Just kidding. Zig -a -zig. <laughs> it sounds like it honestly it's the, the inside of the car, you want to talk about hot box. 
It it was like it, it was literally the plot of a Cheech and Chong movie inside of this car. I lower my driver's window, plumes of smoke start coming out of the window. And you know, the car starts to empty out. The car starts to empty out. The the the, the smoke starts to empty out of the inside of the car. So now the, the windshield is becoming more and more clear. Oh we're, shit. We're coming around to that little painted section. And guess what my high drunk ass thought he saw? A little girl crossing the street in a nighty. Yeah, I scream at the top of my lungs. The guys in the car start freaking out. Everybody's freaking out. I go sideways. The car goes back around the other way. And then the car comes back going the other way. We come to a full stop facing the other side of traffic. And not one of us had a clean pair of shorts. Why well, did a picture like ludicrous in the background playing act a fool? Like going in the background. Like... I, I remember spinning in the street in the, in the middle of, of a freeway facing the wrong side of traffic. And oh just, my God. Dude, we spun out. This whole street was pitch black. It was pitch black. There was one street right on. And I know I saw that little girl. I know I did. Bro, I'm not crying. You're crying. Bro, <laughs> my heart was literally beating outside of my chest. It was like right here. Jesus. <laughs> High, yeah. gone. Drunkness, <laughs> gone. <laughs> Everything, <laughs> gone. You sobered up real quick. <laughs> oh, my God, bro. Oh, my God. I shot myself. <laughs> <laughs> That was one of my many, many Halloween stories. Until well, Been out. up until today, I told <laughs> brown out. I saw that girl. <laughs> I'm kind of glad that I didn't have a car back when I was younger. Because if I did, I think I would have done some pretty. Yo, I did some stupid ass shit in cars I back in too. the day. I didn't, have, I didn't have a car. There back was one. Either. There was one time, and even to this day, Bethany, Bethany gets so mad about this shit. I don't know why I'm admitting it. I don't stop. <laughs> so if I see flashing lights. Oh, so here's a funny story for you. So a friend of ours, Kenny, was in the car, right? We were driving. And we were hauling ass down the parkway. And we were just playing music in my car, just having fun. This is probably about, I don't know, like six years ago, five, six years ago. We're going down the road, like having a good time, chilling. And then all of a sudden, the guy, Kenny, looks over and he's like, Dude, that's a cop. His lights just turned on. I was like, oh, I'm not going that fast. And I looked down. I was like, oh, shit, 120 to 55. Uh, what am I going to do? <laughs> so next thing you know, we see the on-ramp, right, to get off onto the other highway. So I was like, I'm going to tell you right now, you're never going to experience this before uh, ever in your life after this. And he's like, what are you talking about? I grabbed that fucking e-brake. I fucking ripped the car around, went sideways into the intersection, drifted around in a front wheel car, keep in mind, and went to the light. And he's like, dude, the light's red. The light's red. Because you there's you had the light when you got to the top of the ramp. You can only go left or right. Keep in mind, I'm still going a buck 20 going this on ramp and it's an S curve. I'll show it to you in a second on the map. And I, get, I come up to the light and he's like, dude, the light's red. The light's red. I was like, we're good. And he's like, what? I grabbed the E brake and I timed it perfectly, slid into the intersection left and went all the way down the highway the opposite way. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> he shit his pants. Yeah, you know, he, he's white knuckled that shit. Here, let me pull it up on the map. I'll show you where this shit is. Hang on. You just I thought you were gonna tell us it's like a Dave Chappelle story. He's like, I'm sorry, officer. I didn't know okay. I didn't do that. <laughs> all right, all right. So uh, what look, I'm gonna show you this. You think I'm kidding. Watch this. All right, so you see the road right here, Fairfax County Parkway? Right here. Mm -hmm. So I'm going 120 down here. Didn't realize it. And then I took this off ramp right here curved came up this way as the light was still red he was freaking out i grabbed the e-brake ripped it and came this way and the cop thought i went the opposite way <laughs> <laughs> no. and then i drove like 
I drove like all the way down to here and did a U-turn and then got back onto the highway and went back the way we were going this way. <laughs> wow. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah, Bethany, it, I gotta be careful because I can't do that shit anymore. I mean, I could, but, you know. I wouldn't if I were you, obviously. Yeah, no, I'd, I'd get in trouble big time, my, especially my, my job. Um, one of my little cousins be pulling some shit like that. I don't get in a car with him no more, but um, he's actually in South Jersey. He's a he's a manager of um, what is it um, what's that tire fucking um, fucking what do they change to? Not Firestone. They went they changed to uh, Mavis. He's a manager oh yeah of yeah Mavis. yeah yeah. But mm -hmm. he'd be fucking doing some stupid shit. Like I see him for Christmas and we're like we'll take a ride to the and. I don't get in a car with his fucking little stupid ass anymore because he still does shit like that. He'll be like, Arr! and he'll fucking spin us around in front of my house. I'm like, dude, what the fuck, bro? He's like, yo, watch this. Wham, and just rip on his fucking e-brake. And then, I'm like, dude, you're an asshole. That shit ain't right. And he still does shit like that. He still does shit like that. He's like 30 years old. He's done in a wheelchair yeah. or nothing, is he? Like, No. no. Oh, okay. But he's... He's fucking stupid. <laughs> you all just got that. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, bad joke, but I know, I know. Uh, oh, Jesus. Uh, oh, any other stories we want to go through? Because we're approaching two hours now. There is something I wanted to share that I was kind of reluctant to sharing, but I kind of, I kind of, you know, it was, it was before when we were talking about how our weeks went. Uh, I got to see. This is I really I feel bad about saying this, but I got to see Far From Home pre uh, CGI copy. Nice. And uh, I keep your tell, mask on while you talk about it. <laughs> I gotta tell you, man. I gotta tell you, it's pretty darn good. Share, pretty, share, I know, share alike. I know, I know, I know Yule. I know Yule is boycotting <laughs> the Marvel Cinematic Universe, but I, I, I couldn't, I couldn't help it. You know, it, it, it fell into my lap, and, and I, I, I had to watch it. And um, there's some things I gotta tell y'all. Um, yes, Andrew Garfield is in it. Yes, Toby, Toby McGuire is in it. Um. And Willem Dafoe. The, I saw pictures of his outfit that's changed now, yeah. where he doesn't have a mask and shit like that. From the it? onset, from the onset, uh, he is in it, um, and he plays a very prominent role. Oh. Um, Electro is the old school uh, green and yellow suit. Mm -hmm. Um. But you know, it's he's not that prominent. Um, it's really more the goblin. They don't necessarily say Sinister Six, but it's the they're Sinister, leaning it's, towards it. Yeah, it's the Sinister Six, um, the lizard, and and you, you know the the you know it's basically all the villains from the different movies, and they just pluck them out of their universes, and mm -hmm. they all wind up in you know the the current marvel cinematic universe and i hope it stays like that because they were so good at their characters <laughs> the, the the three spideys uh get it on um and uh it's back like they got each other's back and it's it's i've probably already said too much but it, it's pretty it's pretty cool to watch that's okay nobody watches us you're good so <laughs> <laughs> It's, it's pretty cool. It's pretty no, cool we got plenty watch. of people that watch and listen. Trust me. It's it's pretty cool to watch, man. That does sound kind of cool. It's pretty cool to watch. Um, Doctor Strange plays a huge role. Um, Venom. Venom. There is no, there is uh, no Venom, but um, there is a rumor mill uh, of them having their own standalone movies um, of Spider Man mm. and Venom. Um, really? from what I understand, Morbius. That trailer looked amazing today, by the way. It did. It did look amazing. And there are uh, quite a few Easter eggs 
uh, where Morbius is now putting his bid into the Marvel Cinematic Universe. And uh, it looks like Sony and Marvel are going to be... Intertwining from here on out. Yeah. It is because uh, it's just kind of weird to not have him hang out with Blade a couple of you know times. Yeah. Well, yeah. they the, an article actually okay. by Geekosity um, dropped. I think what was it today that I shared? Um, fuck it, I'll go ahead and share it. Let me see if it'll pop up here. I thought it. I thought I uploaded that. Yeah, there it is. Okay, here. My I'll care bear shooting fucking marijuana smoke out of his belly. Mm-hmm. Have everybody, <laughs> everybody gonna get high. So it says here, Tom Holland will work with Marvel Studios after Spider-Man: No Way Home. Okay. Now this is from uh, Mikey Sutton from Geekosity, and dude, he's been. Pretty fucking dead on with a lot of shit. What's the um? What's the release date on this movie? Uh, God, Far from co- home. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Far from home is Christmas. Very yeah. Perfect, right. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Christmas Day, I believe. Oh yeah. Is, isn't um? When's the Eternals? That's coming soon, right? That's this That's, weekend. Uh, yeah, it's this weekend. That's coming up this month sometime. This right. Weekend. This weekend mm-hmm. is coming up. The Eternals. Ooh, in fact, you know what? We may go see that this weekend. I t- Dude, we ordered tickets for uh, Afterlife. Oh. Like, I'm fucking excited to see that. I'm getting like, I'm getting like the chills, you know. I dude, I I liked Ghostbusters as a kid. For some reason, I like it more as an adult now, more than ever than I was as a kid. It's kind of interesting. Um, and for some All reason, movies, that, that, are they making them available? Like at home as well. I not don't think everything. so. I think Ghostbusters is straight theater. I don't think they're gonna sure. do that. Um, it's not Warner Brothers. It's it's by yeah. Sony. Sony Pictures. Then you saw Warner right. Brothers after this coming year. They're not gonna have movies straight to what's it called anymore? HBO Max. They give mm-hmm. everybody a sample. And that's it. From there. Mm-hmm. Right. I think that's wrong of them to do that. But also yeah, too, I think also. It gives people that are disabled or something like that the opportunity to watch the movie when they can't get out to the theater. Um, but, you know, I understand their reasoning behind it, why they want to get everybody out again, because, dude, it seems like all the numbers are going down, everything else and whatever else. I mean, our numbers are way down here in Virginia. So. If you ask me, they fucked Dune. <laughs> they could, that thing would have been hell and made, hell and made more money if they had. You know. I got one more pickup. Oh, ah. yeah, go ahead. It's not a bong, is it? <laughs> What'd you get? What'd you get? Oh, that buffalo chicken dip you're always eating. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't had this in a little while. I haven't bought it in a little while. Yo, we got we got to start playing Call of Duty again. Cause, fuck that up. <laughs> yo, we got to we gotta start playing Call of Duty again because Vanguard drops. It's about to, right? Yeah. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, I think... Uh, let me see here. Yes. I picked that up tonight. Up on, the way, on the way home. Oh, shit. Friday is when it drops. What Fitting, right? Fitting. I got some Panera mac and cheese. I'm going to take that buffalo chicken dip and that Panera mac and just scoop it like, like that with my scoops. Oh, nice. Yo, I want bite size. Every time you eat that the buffalo chicken dip, when we're all uh, like playing, like we gotta start oh, playing again. That. You guys gotta play yeah, too. Wait. Yeah, it's fun. We wild and we were. I mean, we wild out the fucking like three, four o'clock in the morning. Yo, that I'm one like, night we we, we were going to like yeah, five a.m. or some shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's fucking so anyway. retarded. I work midday, so it's okay for me. You know. Mm. It, all right, Vinny. To show you real quick, because you didn't get a chance to look at this. I'm going to show you all my 12 inches. Yeah! 12 inches of of snake eye, or storm shadow. Look at that mask. Two different color scheme. I like that. Look at that. Uh, Ford, why are you going to fuck? You want that thing on your fucking nuts? 
<laughs> nope. God damn, man. But that's the only way this motherfucker will stand, so. Yeah. Well, it's just because it's so top heavy, you know what I mean? Look at that. But, yeah, yeah, look at yeah, this. Definitely. You're lucky, Vin. I've been waiting to see his 12 inches since I started coming here. Mmm. <laughs> Go right? figure, it's white, right? Like. That's the hood right there, right? Yeah, that's the hood. Uh, but dude, the sword the swords are yeah, plastic, but they look like okay. that's pretty well done. Mm hmm. Alright. And that's then nice. um It's pretty well done. Like it even if you look, the hood is cloth, so you could put the hood over its head too. Yes, that's what I was looking at. So, like that, huh? But uh it's kind of weird, like what I was saying was about the arms. So they're ratcheted. But if you look, when it bends 90 degrees, it's like a fucking straw. Uh, That's why I was uh, saying. That's the only thing I dislike about it. I just kind of wish they would have done a Fison body. And what, what, what is that material on, on the body? What is that? Is like a, a, a... Dude, this is literally, there's a plastic endoskeleton, and then this is just plastic over it. It's plastic molded into an, an arm. That's all it is. So... Okay. You can see here. It's literally molded plastic that's got like. It's pretty pliable then. Yeah. yeah. So it's but, fairly but... thin, so I'm afraid to bend it too many times. You know what oh, I mean? So. Man. so that thing sits on your shelf for a few years. That thing's going to start dry cracking and all kinds of stuff. Yeah, so I'm going to constantly you... keep. If you keep it bent, right? No, I keep it. I just keep it straight no, like in no, the yeah, stands. You got to keep it straight. Yeah, you got to keep it straight. Mm -hmm. Super but sick. uh ooh, damn look at that shit we're at 216. <laughs> oh yeah it's about that time guys i know that uh about that time. master beanie's about ready to get his buffalo chicken sauce on while he while he whoops people's asses on you know online gaming so, cod <laughs> we're gonna give out our shout outs to all our listeners and uh audience for the viewers and for the, the podcast listeners and to all the rest of our podcasting buddies, you know, over in the community. Ooh. Yep. And uh, <clears throat> shout out to all the people that support movies today, even though I'm an a hole and I <laughs> tend to boycott stuff. I realize that sometimes you may have to take one for the team in order for the uh, I bet you do, Big Daddy. Survive. How do you get it for, for the yeah for? Because if you don't support it, it's possible that nothing you, gets made anymore. You know what yeah, I mean? You have to support but, stuff now, or it doesn't get made. Yeah, I have yeah, to I'm, say, I do have to say one thing real quick. With no, with far from home, mm -hmm. there is no wokeness. There's no underlying. This mm -hmm. it's it's purely entertaining. And, yeah, because uh, they, they knocked out the wokeness, so you know, from the beginning already with their diverse cast system. <laughs> cast yeah. System. So this they one, got this one, this one, this one, this one does not. You know, it, it really doesn't uh... pull in Eternals. <laughs> it, it doesn't. Oh, you know, jeez, really, yeah. Uh, you know, it's, yeah. Sorry, it's not, sorry about that. Not to say that. Not to say that they're they're not going to continue because obviously they're going to continue, especially with what they're doing with Thor and all mm. that stuff. But you know, this movie is is it's entertaining. It's it's a it's it's pretty good. I enjoyed it. Nice, nice. And I can't wait to go see it in the theater. So well, I'm going to end up watching it just because, well, there's nothing else there to watch. <laughs> <laughs> So, Master Skinny, where do we find you in the interweb, sir? What can you tell our you audience? Find me, um, my government name, Vinny. <laughs> my uh, government on, on the on the Facebook, right. and then you can find me as uh, Master Skinny on Instagram. Where can they find Master you on Skinny. Xbox? Oh, uh, Master Skinny is there seventy eight on there? The 78? Yeah, I think that's what it is. You're the horse, baby. You're the hey, first. Master, master, master Skinny 78. I'm turning it on to take a peek what it is real quick. Oh, oh, Master Skinny 78. There it goes. There you go. Bam. <laughs> there it goes. I just turned it on. It's just, skinny. Oh, sorry. Apologize. Skinny Master 78 on, uh, on the Xbox. 
Nice, yeah, most man. excellent. Yeah, man. And uh, just real quick, thank you. Thank you again for having me. Man. Dude, for showing up, bro. you're a brother from another mother, and yeah. dude, you were clutch, like popping on last minute, dude. Yeah, man. Awesome. Not only that, man, I'm just glad to see you again, dude. It's been you, you, yeah, you too, it's been far it's too long, time. man. What's it been? It a couple been, months, like it's been, man. I haven't been, um, I don't know, I haven't been right since like April, bro. Pretty dude, much. a lot of us are going through so much right now, and yeah, all we can do is be here for one another because we're all going through shit. I had right a couple now. moments, I had a couple moments. I've seen it, I've seen, I've seen everybody. I got to see some people in May, it was that long ago, mm. and. And then when I when I went away in July, um, to to Cali to visit my uncle and my cousin, that was just amazing because I you know got the hell mm. out of fucking Dodge, bro. Yeah, yeah. Um, but uh, I'm trying to break out of that fucking shell, and you know, I'm I'm, I'm think I'm out of it. I think I am. We all t a bunch of us were talking about getting a cabin pretty soon and just getting I'm away for a fire. weekend or something. Right. Yeah, yeah, we're right. all going to read the Necronomicon together. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Klaatu, Verata, <laughs> shit. <laughs> all right, yo. Yeah, yeah. Is that it? All right. Who, where who's next? Found? I right, found, so. you found me. <laughs> young Vendetta, where can we find yo. you in the interwebs? What's up, my peoples? Well, you can find me here with these fine gentlemen every Sunday. Um, every Thursday, I apologize. You can find me on... Uh, you know, if you want to throw out a DM to the Nerds Have Spoken podcast on Instagram, you can find me also at The Vendetta on Instagram. You can find me at V's Toy Box, V-S underscore Toy Box on the Instagram. You could also find me at Ralph The Vendetta Rodriguez on the Facebooks. And of course, you can find me talking around the Realm of Collectors Network. You can find me talking around... You know, a lot of the uh, Transformer online groups. Um, the cafe. You know, I don't, I don't, you know, I, I, I might keep it low key, but the I'm hardcore not. Hardcore collectors. The <laughs> hardcore collectors. Shout out to them. Um, you, you know, I'm not, I'm not that low key. You will find me out there. How about you, Jay? Uh, you can find me at Jason Lauer in the Facebook groups. Uh, you can find me at uh, what is it, Clutch Two, the Clutch Two Three Four Five on Xbox. I think this week I'm going to start back up Call of Duty again on Friday night because it's been a while. So let's get it. Let's get into it again. Get it. Especially Vanguard dropping. I want to. I want to do that download like midnight Thursday. So wait, wait, what, what, what's the, what's the date on that? November fifth, so well, it'll oh. be like midnight yeah. on Thursday. Yeah, that's this weekend. So uh, I'm definitely picking that up because I want to play that. Yeah, I want, awesome. dude. I want to play World War Two zombies. Like, dude, like or it's World War Two, right? I or no, World War One or something like that. Vanguard. That's what. Yeah, whatever it is, it doesn't matter. It's yeah, it's, it's yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, so. It's <laughs> Um, cool. Either way, you can find cool. me there this weekend uh, playing that again. Like I said, you can find me in Jason, uh, Facebook groups as Jason Lowry. You can find me here every week with these fine gentlemen. And uh, final message, you know, there's a lot going on in people's lives right now. Check in on your friends. Um, mm -hmm. Let them know, you know, you appreciate them. If they need anything, just let them know. We're all going through a lot right now, especially... It, the holiday season is coming up and you know you know seasonal depression shit starts to kick in i know it does for me a little bit so be sure to check in on your friends share some holiday spirit you know what i mean and that's it for me so what about you coco smooth folks well i'm no heathen and cannot celebrate holidays <laughs> i understand the need for people to come together and check up on each other, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because, you know, I too suffer from, you know, fractured spirits and mindsets from time to time. And uh, it's no fun. It really ain't because I like to think of myself as a somebody who's got it going on, put together. But man, when when when, when you can't, when you, when, when you, if you find yourself in a place where you, you, you can't take it, you, you, it's better to tell somebody about it than to not because 
yeah, it's no, you don't let it destroy you. You know what I mean? So don't hold it in. Mm -hmm. Don't yeah. hold it in. I'm so just like a fart, in. just let it out. Just... <laughs> I know. <laughs> Yo, you know if I, whenever I die and you guys are still alive, you know every time you smell a fart, it's probably me haunting your asses. Like... <laughs> I'm, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. Well, no, I'm not. But uh, if, if ever that happens, you smell a fart, just think of me. It's probably me just crop dusting you or something. Why does it smell like baby shit and burnt hair? <laughs> right, right. Well, oh, dude. you know, it's, the irony is, folks, for y'all who don't know, Master Skinny does have a point. My government name is Yula Blamo. I've hardly ever said it because, to be honest, I hate saying my name out loud at all. This doesn't sound. <laughs> dude, your name just rolls out the tongue. It's awesome. It'd be different okay. if my last name started with a Y, too. You know, kind of like how Peter Parker, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> or Bruce yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> So, so when I have kids, I'm gonna make sure that what you know their last name, their first name start with a vowel so that it rolls with the last name. You know. Oh, there you Ash go. <laughs> Just don't give them two first names and 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 you know three first names is the worst. Don't or don't do give them three you, names because they'll be like don't serial killer that. status. Paul, like. yeah, Paul Yo, George. <laughs> yeah. Yo, yeah. But imagine three first names. Oh, Paul Bro, George no. Michael. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, y'all can y'all can find me at Coco Smooth Six One Nine over in the YouTube's where I share my pops these days mostly, and and sometimes comics. And I say sometimes because to be honest, your boy's broke and it's hard to catch up. <laughs> you know, right. buy comics on a weekly basis. Comics are on the rise. And by the way, folks, mm -hmm. a lot there out there that's that's crazy. Like for example, um, public service. Any if you guys are gonna order paper. Now is the time because there's a paper shortage. Just saying. Yeah, there so, is. Yeah, so make sure mm -hmm. you uh, stock up. <clears> start getting that TP. Mm -hmm. And yeah, you can find me at Coco Smooth at the Instagrams and some and and at Twitter. I'm at Twitter mostly for sports, but yeah, because because I can't handle <laughs> the regular Twitter verse. It's too mm. contentious. Sports, sports Twitter seems to be less it's contentious. It's DCU, Dick Cinematic do Universe over there. Like, uh, I don't do Twitter. And, well, I mean, neither, neither do I except for sports because, again, I feel that they get the news for the stuff that I like so much faster. They do, it seems. Others, yeah, and, yeah. yeah. Like, I learned about the Henry Ruggs incident in Twitter before it started, before he got in the news. I was like, wait, oh. what? Yeah. Oh, no. So... And um, Fucking yeah. call that number in your wallet. That's what they right. got to do. <laughs> Dumbasses. I don't know. I don't know why people do that. People still drive drunk. Yo, what? they get a limo. They get wherever they, they want. With Uber. Yo, you need and... some eggs. Yo, call that fucking limousine. <laughs> They'll pick you up and you get some fucking free range fucking huevo. <laughs> <laughs> wow. And with that, folks, yes. the nerds have, have spoken. Spoken. Be good to each other, y'all. We good out. To each other. And if you're not good to each other, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs>